and we are back in the streets of Roseau this afternoon. We are back once again. Thank you for holding on to DBS Radio for day two of Mas Alawi. Right now in front of us are the Africulture Stilt Walkers and they are depicting um, Aura of the Sea. That's what their name, their name today is um, out here in the streets of Africulture Stilt Walkers is presenting Aqua Blast that is where we see they have queen of the band, the king of the band, and all of the young children following them, depicting a volcanic eruption under the sea. And uh, I am joined today with Joseph Seraphine Hendrickson. Good afternoon, Joseph. How are you? How are you? Oh, good afternoon. Well, uh, if I had to say how, how I am. <laughs> but anyway, it, it's been a, a, a long time um, for Carnival, two years. I know I was so very excited yes. about it, but then, you know, the one that you overdo things and that's one of the things happen. But what I'm seeing here is very colorful <laughs> and uh, we have the small ones. And she looks like uh, maybe like, what age? You see, six, their, seven? Their youngest is seven. Seven. Their youngest yeah. on the street on is the, seven. On the stilt and um, she's doing it very well. And, um, and then they go on to, but it's mostly young people though, I'm seeing in, in that group. Uh, I guess. <laughs> And it's always a pleasure to see the young people taking part in Dominica's oh, yes, culture yes, yes. and being happy about taking part. But right now on the street is an explosion of color and Aqua Blast is the Africulture Stilt Walkers today on the streets for Mas Alawi 2023. Yes, and um, I think they're a bit late though. And I was well, everybody like, is late, yes, Joseph. So everybody is late. So what they're saying is that they're going to be taking out points. Mm. All those, you know, bands who came in late. Ah, so because today we are on the street, the bands yes. are on the street um, trying to get band of the year. They are trying to get group of the year. There's, there's a road match on the table as well. Many things on the cards for today. So a lot of these troops should have made the extra effort. But nonetheless, we yeah. are here. We are enjoying ourselves. The people on the street were early. I must say Dominicans turned out early to um, experience Carnival Tuesday. Of course, especially our visitors from, you know, around the world. I mean, to them, well, it might be until next year. Some of them will not be able to make it yesterday. So they want to, you know, to get as much as they can. So you, you'll see that on the road. People really, really want to see um, the bands. Yes. Well, Josette, this, this is the Africulture Stilt Walkers. Like we said, we have seen um, the Carnival Miss Teen the Carnival Queen, as well as the other um, contestants from those pageants. And we saw those who participated in the Junior Calypso Monarch and the Junior Buyo Monarch. We have not seen, well, I have seen Feathers and Glitter on the street for today, but I have not seen a troop of Feathers and Glitter pass in front of me. I saw a troop organize themselves in front of Old Time Sake. Old Time Sake was at the head of right. the I celebration. They were, right. they and they, they organized was, there. Yeah. But yeah. no, nothing else is coming behind the Africulture Stilt Walkers. Um, they should have been on the street a long time ago at 10 o'clock. They should be bending the corner at this yes, time. Yes, we are 12 o'clock in, two hours after the start time. And we are just waiting to see the rest of Carnival Tuesday. Um, it seems like those in the different costumes are waiting for their band to make their way. I suspect that's the case right now, that the band if the band does not start, the feathers and glitter will not come onto the street. Right. Um, I'm seeing who's that. Jared. <laughs> no, I need to hear something from you because it seems like we're running behind. And is there, I mean, a valid reason for it to be like this? Well, I need to apologize to everybody, but it's not our fault. We're supposed to start at 10 o'clock and all the bands are late and like they just don't care. The rebels come at whatever time they want. It's like all they come for is the rum and the party. And we have been trying for years. I don't know. I, I, really, I, really, I don't know how to explain it, but it's, I mean, I don't know what we can do. We moved from Monday to Tuesday because they said that after she was very tired. So fine. But they're still late, so I just don't know what else to do. And we know a lot of, um, a, a lot of awards are on the table for today. What's going to happen well, with the points? Well, I don't know. I was just telling Chief Judge, maybe we should remove points for being late. And who is our Chief Judge today? <laughs> that's okay, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, I just want to ask, if everybody if everybody's late, you have to take points from everybody. 
Is that correct, or there is like, well, or is a system? The things that they're supposed to pass by the our judging station by a certain time, yeah. Okay. So if they're not there by a certain time, obviously they will not be considered. So ah. let's see what happens. But they always make noise for all sorts of things. I don't know. I, I really don't. Know. All right then. Okay, thank, thank you for speaking thank with you, us. Thank, thank you for that information. Well, Joseph, it looks like a Quapo spoke your pipe kind of yes, day. Yes. <laughs> and he's because, upset about it. Yeah, but, but but Joseph, you would be too. If you're of organizing course, something, you say be on time. Yes. And then we pala problems, Joseph. You have to be there. And they, they, we, we are not only here for the partying, but this is our our real mass. We say Dominica has the real mass. And if you don't come on the street, we cannot have mass. No, not at all. And after people waited for two years, I you know, know, right? Two years to see this thing, that should be just smooth. You know, they're supposed to be. <laughs> and it seems like we are on camera. Yeah. We are live on DBS Facebook. We are live on YouTube. And we are also live on radio. So you can tune in any way you please. You can join us on YouTube, join us on Facebook to view Mass Alawi the second day. And Joseph, let me tell you, we spoke about independence coming fast and leaving fast. But Carnival is even worse. Carnival just started oh the goodness. other day and we're already done. I'm like, yes, today's the last day. I remember in my time, I mean, I jumped, you know, Carnival. Mm -hmm. But when Tuesday came, you were just anxious to make sure that ah, that's yeah, the yeah. last lap. And boy, when you hear last boy. lap, Oh my God! It looked like it's so chalet. Cool. Yeah, let's give it. <laughs> Boy, just, so just said it, it's just it's just a, a a new spectacle here in the streets of Dominica. Um, the costumes have gotten bigger and prettier yes, at that. Of course. And the and people more expensive. Yes, that that too. Eh? But Joseph, if we have bigger and better, it has to cost yeah. more. We yeah, cannot have bigger right. and better on a budget. We yeah. have we have to do things quite largely out yes. in Dominica. We have someone out here in her costume. <laughs> Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. And I see that you have your own costume. You made this yourself? Yes, ma'am. Anybody can go out and spend lots of money on a gorgeous costume. But when you have a hot glue gun and pins and needles and some feathers, anything can happen. Anything can happen. So, so, rock, so our camera can see you, our camera. Open your costume for our camera. Yes, that, she's she's a peacock. Taylor from Watton Waven. All right, that's Taylor from Watton Waven with her peacock costume. And you see, Joseph, we were just talking about costumes on a budget. And yes. she said, as long as you have a hot glue gun, a needle, some thread, and some feathers, you can have a costume. Definitely. Wow, wow, wow. We love to see it. Thank you for joining us. Thank, thank so you so much. Thank you. And enjoy and stay safe. Oh, eh? This is my 19th year. What oh, can I say? Wow, wow, wow. Okay. And she is definitely enjoying her carnival. Yes, she's definitely enjoying her carnival. I've seen her since morning. Joseph, she was on time. If she was a carnival band, she would get all of her points this morning. Right. But once again, to our listeners, thank you for tuning in to DBS Radio. We are here in the streets of Roseau, right across from Jackson's um, shop. And we are bringing you live broadcast of day two of Mass Alawi 2023 Carnival Tuesday. Mardi Gras, whatever you want to call it, and it's not too late to join us. The sun is very hot right on my forehead right now. I made it a little sunscreen um, this afternoon. Just say thank God for the, for the Yes, I'm not complaining, you know, Joseph. I'm not complaining, but he show, man. He, he be a show. Yes, but this is, this is perfect weather for reveling. It is not raining. Thank you, God, for that. It is perfect because if it was ready, we would not be able to stand out here in the streets of Roseau to bring you Masalawi 2023. I'm going to ask, because I did exit for a moment, did you hear any local songs? Yes. Today I heard, well, right now a local song is playing. Right. That's Asa Banson's song played in a okay. very far distance. But Calypso, I Calypso, Calypso. I, I believe that's what you oh want to ask. Goodness. Calypso was being played this afternoon, this morning. Um, that was from the old time sake troupe, you know, the old time yeah. sake. Always make sure that Calypso is played on the street. And we must commend them for that. They are doing an excellent job and with keeping that alive. They, yeah. They were on time. Yes. They are organized. I asked one if they're in, on their dictatorship because I remember that's the costume that Trilogy wore for the semifinals. Oh, and by the way, oh, uh, who is going to be coming after us is Noreen. Noreen is in that group too. Yes, so yes. She, she will definitely be, I don't know if she'll be ready and prepared, but Noreen is a person with plenty of laddie wife and la Lin. So she will be here after. Noreen has enjoyed herself. Behind us is a bar um, with all sorts of foods and eats and drinks. 
and we are here waiting for the feathers and glitter bands and our costumes rather to make their way onto the streets of Roseau. We have not seen them exit the um, starting point of today. Um, we saw one troop organize themselves um, to the front of the parade. However, we haven't seen any other. I'm not sure which one it was to the front, um, but there are a number of groups on the street today. There's amnesia, there's hysteria, there is pulse as well. A number of groups will be on the streets well, in their feathers and glitters. When I passed in front of the financial center, I saw two different groups, so I'm not too sure which was which. I just and a lot of them have different colors, so it may be yes. the same group, it just could be, a yes. different color. Because sometimes they have yes. sections. Mm -hmm. So there, yeah. there may be different different troops all around, but we urge them to organize yourselves. We heard from Mr. Cools Latridge that if you do not pass in front of the judges section by that a specific time, you will not that be counted as being on the street. So oh you can be goodness. here until eight o'clock tonight. That is not their business. They want you to pass if it's 11 o'clock, if it's 12 o'clock, you're supposed to pass the judging area by a specific time. and. The people, although they are revelers on the street preparing themselves to enjoy mass, the spectators are also here. I think and we have a good crowd though. Yes, we We're do. And they are ready. And they came ready. on time. The, the mass was supposed to start, the parade was supposed to start at 10. A lot of people made their way here by 10 o'clock and all between 10, 11, the roads filled up very quickly. And it is not just this street here but a number of the other streets of Roseau are filled, are lined with people. So right now we are on Independent Street across from Jackson's shop and we are bringing you live coverage of the parade for Carnival Tuesday 2023. This is the last day of Carnival. Tomorrow we'll be having Tewe Vaval where they will be burying the mass. Well, that would be very interesting. I think I've saw it twice already in the Kalinago territory, and it was very, very interesting. In all my life, it's just uh, twice I did this. Have you ever been? No, I've never been to Tewe Vaval. Um, in Grand Bay, we don't, we don't necessarily do Tewe Vaval. They celebrate Carnival to their fullest potential. Yes. In Grand Bay, from dusk till dawn, but Carnival is celebrated. Let me tell you, I saw that the, the folks, of course, in Kalinagos, they would, they would come up some roads like and i'm wondering where they have the energy mm -hmm. and they're running i remember watching running, it live running, yes i remember watching it live on facebook or youtube i'm not sure which one and they have and a real thing you know like yes actually doing a ceremony. there's a cemetery and yes. they bury and a coffin and all of that i've seen it live but and i've never experienced I, it and what that really intrigued me was that they put the, co uh, the coffin over um fire and that coffin lit up yeah and, and so we had the, the gentlemen well i didn't see women do that mm -hmm. jumping over the fire jumping over Dee the fire ha -ha. i was like wow well they're really burying the mass and our live coverage today is brought to you through the kind compliments of jackson shop we are right next to them so we thank them for their space we thank them for that um it's also brought to you through the kind compliments of domlek as well as max Roy trading we thank them for making this broadcast possible so that we could bring you our viewers and our listeners mass alawi 2023 and carnival tuesday out in Rosso. and uh, jackson is actually a point of meeting i'm here mr eddie Several. Uh, you you working today? Yes, I am. So the, no carnival for you. The most I can do is just watch. But but right now you are walking the streets. You can yeah, take a little my bump. Clients are in the band. Mm. Uh, so I'm just waiting. They send a message and I move. Wow, taxi on the go. That's what it is. All right, okay, we you heard for that service because you know a lot of people, a lot of taxi men, they decide you know I'm not working today. I'm jumping up. But Eddie, no, but this service is essential. Right, that's it's an right. Essential service, and mm -hmm. a lot of people do not understand that. They prefer to just sit by uh, people calling them, and they would say, "I'm not working today." But the people need the service, and then the same taxi drivers are saying, "It don't have work." Very yes, true. Very definitely. true. Very insightful. But do you do? And I know you have a very professional way with your taxi. Yes. See, that's, that's Eddie very Severin. important that Hi. we are high tyron that it's very important that we remember that a lot of services are essential whether or not we think people don't need us they are needed a lot of people will call and send their ride home because we we don't want to drink irresponsibly or drive irresponsibly. i was just saying that 
So Somebody, we, they we thank them for the for being. You know, we thank people like Eddie yes. for being on guard during this season. Yes. yes. So right now, once again, we are here. D this is DBS Radio here on Independent waiting. Street, awaiting the rest of the parade. Um, this is Carnival Tuesday for Mass Alawi. That's the theme for this year, Mass Alawi 2023. We have seen the passage of one carnival band well two rather that's the old time sake as well as the agriculture stilt walkers and we have also seen the passage of carnival royalty bending the corner right now is another group that's the thunderbirds who are rounding the corner right near burton's and company so thunderbirds is all dressed in gold wow i can't, I can't even tell you how how many years from thunderbirds has been in existence many many many, years. many many years brands like thunderbirds and old time sake have been here for a very long time and they continue to do their job in the streets of roso and they are definitely doing a good job out there thunderbirds is on the street dressed in gold um their names we will bring that to you soon however we can see them coming around the corner right now their band name is gold for our heroes that's what thunderbirds is presenting today gold for our heroes and there's something else oh tooth and law all in gold and they are definitely and, all in gold um, uh, well a reveler i know for many years and that is hamilton joseph he says it's over 50 years wow the band wow yes. wow so thunderbirds yes. here going strong and i like that they have a lot of mixture in the generations which join them Whereas all time's sake, we see more mature people. Thunderbirds, we are seeing young people as well. And that is also but so to, a pleasure. But to keep the legacy, you must get the small ones. But of course, of ones, course, yes? yes. And Thunderbirds, they are dressed all in gold. Um, gold for our heroes. Toot our law is the name of their troop. There are people dressed in, it looks very African themed. So we're going to wait for them to come a bit closer so we could see what Thunderbirds is bringing to the streets of Roseau, toot a law. I wonder if that's a 50th anniversary, why they have call it. Hmm. They have the gold. Who knows? I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Who knows, it just might be. But we heard that they have been in place for 50 years now. That, yeah. That's wonderful, definitely a great thing. And Thunderbirds was on the street yesterday for a t-shirt band as well. Oh, well, so, in the afternoon? Yes, yes, yes. Yesterday afternoon they were okay. there for t-shirt band. And they also have stilt walkers in that group. So let's just wait for them to come a bit closer so we could bring you what Thunderbirds has and tell you a little bit more about their costume or you could see for yourself if you join us on YouTube and Facebook. Right now you can look up DBS Radio on YouTube or Facebook and you could see everything that's happening on Independent well, I'm here Street. I'm local Calypso. Yes. I'm not too sure. So that's the luscious with sour sop. That is right. Yes. And luscious also got um, most improved Calypsonian for 2023. So that's the luscious with her song sour sop we're hearing in the background.
So we see Thunderbirds is coming closer and they have a picture of Macmillan John Baptist. We just got information that Thunderbirds is about 56 years old and that is definitely a milestone to be a troop 56 years old in Dominica still going strong. Also on their costumes, there are pictures of different heroes. So we have Earl Etienne, we have Anna as well on a on a costume. Pay in tribute to it. What does one uh, um, Etienne? He also, um, I would say, I think he made costumes. Yes, he's, yes, he's he did. And he's an artist. Yes. Everywhere. Hey, no one's gonna ship. Hey, to the ship. But it's 2020. 
so Joseph we just saw Thunderbirds and they are joined by the new song Boa Boas as well and uh, what do you think I saw a mixture of emperors and empresses from Africa well uh, Thunderbirds have always been coming with just some kind of spectacular wear you know throughout the years very I true think they used to be like number one eh? as far as I know that's but very I, true very they, true they really came up again and I noticed that they are having a younger set of people and those are the people that will you know run will you know, get to, they will do the legacy for Yes, them. yes, and right now we are seeing the Carnival royalties making their second round. There is Naja Georges, the Carnival Princess for 2023. Zaya Tuse, Denisha Daru as well is there. So the Carnival Princesses are making their second round on the street. And we have already spoken to them for the morning. They are very happy to be here they are pleased that they could take part in the show and they're just happy to enjoy carnival yes and um the sun is hot yes. but they're not taking any complaint of it they're well, still smiling and you'd swear like yes. you know it was so the weather is i don't know these are these are very happy children you yes, know, children. yes. very happy
So Joseph, once again, the Carnival Royalty passing by. There's Kenisha Antoine, the Miss Teen um, winner, Miss Teen Dominica for 2023. Hello. As, as well as Ty Sporting, Mighty T, the Junior Monarch, Junior Calypso Monarch for 2023. Dressed in royalty, yeah? Yes. Yes. And he's dressed all in gold. Yes. So that's definitely wonderful. And we also have one of the Mother's Queen contestants, Miss Nashelle Walsh, who was the first runner-up for the Mother's Queen um, pageant. Her costume is made out of paper cups, solely out of paper cups. And also a headpiece is made of um, the cups. Yes, her entire costume is made out of paper cups. And it moves very nicely. I love to see it. Reminds me of a Wap Duet. And we also have Cheyenne Sylvester, who participated in the Miss Teen um, pageant. She was Miss DGS Dominica Grammar School. I can see from a distance our monarch, our oh. queen king. Mr. Trilogy. Trilogy, yes. yes. Our Trilogy is definitely a joy himself. Of course. Uh, maybe himself could not maybe understand. I mean, hey, I, like, I, I did it first time in Calypso. Well, yes. that is why we should never yes. underestimate people. This eh? young man created history. Yes. He stepped in. They say it is Calypso is a big man thing. But Trilogy yep. came and he, for his first time, he won on his first goal. First man to do that. I wonder if this will encourage other persons who sing Puyo. Well, we'll see, we'll, we'll see. see. We saw Rich take part um, on the virtual Puyo, yeah, that was at the virtual Calypso, and this year Trilogy, who was successful. Oh, we king. How are you doing? I good, you know. I good, I good. At first, you had people who were not very sure of you. I said that there were some people who were not sure of you right, because right. you're singing um, who you are. Right, right. Well, I mean, you know that's expected and you, you can't really blame them. All you have to do is just step up to the plate and show them why they should believe in you, you know? And that's what I try to do. Well, I'm so very happy for you because, I mean, you showed us something. You know, that night was very shivering, but uh, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to yourself and all the people who are listening right now and the people of Dominica. Thank you for embracing me and accepting me. You are very much embraced. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. And I, hope, and I hope in the future to continue to provide good music to the people through Calypso, Buyo, or any genre. And, you know, who, ne who knows, next time I return back on the road, with my people again, you know, I love my people. Okay, yes, and nice. oh, your mother was very excited. Oh my God, oh, listen yes, to yes, her. Yes, well, you know, my mother loves Calypso, you know. So, you know, she, it was no surprise when she, my see my mother burst her mouth, we try to talk to this day that talk to me. But, you know, I mean, I love it. I love the moment and I just enjoy the moment in my people. Carnival 2023, you know, we're encouraging a safe carnival. Everybody enjoy yourself and free up. Thank you very much, Trilogy. You're welcome, you're welcome. Yes, Joe a man who is very happy and uh, you know he is uh, probably surprised that he for his first time he stepped onto the scene and he yes. won but he is very grateful that he received that opportunity and we are hearing his song dictatorship playing in the background as well and right now there's another contest another contestant has joined the scene that's miss um uh, mia francis mia wasn't here on their first round but now she is on the street in a costume of flowers and feathers a beautiful costume at that with mr franklin moses at the back you said franklin moses yes 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 so yes. her, her platform was that. mental health in men so yes. that was the man that she featured for the entire night her costume portrayed it oh, yes. as well okay, as her talent he was a part of her talent on stage Yes. So it was a wonderful sight to see. And um, people were very much pleased there. Yes, um, yes. With seeing him on stage. Yes. And I just figured there's still hope for him. Yes, sir. yes. And Mia is doing her best to 
speak to mental health in men, a very pertinent issue in Dominica around the world, something that a lot of us need to pay more attention to. Right now, another troop is coming up. Um, let's see what troop that is. I can't. Mm. Their, their flag is closed, but I believe that's the Amnesia Band coming up there in pink. But they don't have um, a banner? Yes, they have a banner, but it's in the form of a flag, which is um, a bit closed. So Amnesia Band Amnesia. is there, and their name for this year is Out There. Not Out There as in Out there, out there, like I'm outside, but Out There as in Daring. Well, the costumes, the costume is actually telling us what it is. Yes, so right. they say out and there. Some beautiful ladies and some handsome men. Yes. And blue. And Amnesia is the group of um, the parliamentary representative for Rosa Central, Miss Melissa Popon yes, Skerritt. Yes. So Amnesia is out here in pink. Different names for different groups. There's Audacity. There is Glazed. There is Taunt and defy those are the four different troops we'll be seeing on the streets out well, there with amnesia band well i think she had costumes for everybody yes you yes. understand the big the small and that's yes. what we like we like inclusivity we like body inclusivity yes and you know a lot of people don't feel comfortable wearing certain things and amnesia band and all of the other groups as well made sure that they had all of the pieces for different people, so if you want to be fully covered, halfway covered, they have that for you. Well, it's left to them, huh? And to the front of the band is the queen and um, king of the band. We are seeing them in their dusty pink at the front of the troop. An amnesia band has their own truck. It's all inclusive. You buy your tickets, you get drinks, you get everything that you could possibly ask for.
Joseph, that was the Amnesia Band out there on the streets in their four with their four different troops. Amnesia without dear. That was definitely a beautiful costume, beautiful costumes on the street today. Beautiful people on the street today as well. Yes, and um, one of, of the names of the of the costume it was it's called um, glazed. And yes. in my mind, I felt it should have been chocolate glazed because the girls is really chocolate, you know. They were, they were different glazed, you know. Yes, I know. <laughs> But they, they but really look nice on the street and Amnesia, I'm not sure if you saw the gentleman performing stunts on the back, on the top of their truck. He's performing stunts with fire, blowing fire out there on the street, <laughs> on top of the Amnesia big truck. That was definitely a sight to see. Well, you know, there's always something that um, Melissa Skerritt Popon would have something spectacular. Because we are watching for a moment, I didn't, couldn't see it, but now this man is actually blowing fire from his mouth. Yes, so, so I he, would has, think he has sticks, you know, he has sticks that are lit on fire, I think it's alcohol or something. Yes. He blows out from his mouth to do that. But Amnesia Band was on the street there with their carnival costume man named Out There. And later on, on With Amnesia will be Asa Banton. Asa Banton is the artist with Amnesia. They call it the A-Team, apparently. Asa and Amnesia. Yes, yes. Well, they, well, you know, they have always been on top. Yes, and uh, another troop will be coming up. Um, I believe that Hysteria making their way onto the street as well. They are coming around the bend um, right near Burton's company quite slowly at that but they are coming and uh, but quite we, slowly yeah? yeah we are we are moving along nicely on this independent street here in Roso for the day two of carnival masalawi that's even carnival they, tuesday even if they were late but they were one after the other yes yes and they, they were well organized and the band is playing good music it's booyo music it's our music a lot of people are asking where's the calypso but we have to understand yes calypso is dominica's music but booyo is dominica's music as well that's right because we had a, a junior um boyo yes we had a booyo yeah. monarch junior booyo monarch so we need to understand that booyo is the one of dominica's own as well that's where booyo came from it came from us so we, we must not, we must always remember when we hear the booyah music that yes we are here in Calypso we heard it from all time's sake we heard it from Thunderbirds and we have heard booyah from Amnesia Band their truck is larger but nonetheless the music was being played. <laughs> oh my goodness the crowd has increased now and um, then rapidly we see, at yes. that. And I know there's some people just waiting for the later afternoon to come out. Uh, yes, so yes. it will be really, really jam-packed then. Yeah, they, they're waiting. They're most likely waiting for all of the um, different artists to come out. All the big group, group um, troops. My words are all mixed up right now. They're waiting for all of the troops to come out. I, I had to squeeze that one out, boy, Josette. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so we're waiting for the next band to come on to the next costume band to come onto the streets. And this is Mass Alawi 2023 Carnival Tuesday out in Roseau. And the DBS is bringing that live to you via um, YouTube, Facebook, as well as you can listen on radio. And our broadcast is brought to you through the kind compliments of Jackson's Shop, Max Roy Trading, and Domlek. So we thank them for making this broadcast this afternoon possible with Josette and I. Well, one thing I can say, somebody says, well, before there were more people on the road, but we have to take into consideration um, the various villages that have their carnival. Because when I look at Grand Bay, it's like all you want to give um, Rosso a competition, right? We're not giving anybody <laughs> competition, Josette. You know, plenty of people cannot come to Rosso, so we have to have a mass in our place, and the cultural capital cannot not you understand? have mass. We have to have that. Definitely. And Grand Bay sacks of the carnival not. from the beginning of the week. Sacks is on the street. And of Authentica, yes, the yes. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness. Yes. And also I noticed, um, I think still Signal Band was in Portsmouth. And it was just, I, there would be no place to put them it in Rosso. Yeah, when Signal Band so. is done with carnival, I'm not sure what they're going to do. 
where you need to find an island all for themselves and just lie down. Don't yes. move, just live yes. there. Because Signal Band has been hot, hot and hotter for the carnival season. They are oh, here, yes. there and everywhere. I know. But right now we are in the streets of Rosa once again on Independent Street right next to Jackson Shop. A beautiful day out in Rosa. Um, it has become a bit overcast but nothing screaming rain is going to fall just you know a little shelter for the sun yes. some people are probably thankful for that right now a little touch of it yes just just a little bit but we are enjoying ourselves out here in Roseau the spectators are enjoying themselves young and mature people are out here and everyone is just having a ball of a time but talking about Jackson's um, Jackson has been there for years and years and years and the thing is if you are looking for someone, especially your loved ones, maybe just, you know, you're hook, unhooked for a little while, you can just send a message. Say, just stop at Jackson's and you will definitely see him there. Everybody knows Jackson. Yes. I was just saying, the breeze is so nice here right now at the moment. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, a little bit to, you know, cool down the temperatures out here on the streets because Roseau is very hot. The streets of Roseau are hot mm -hmm. and the people don't mind, you know, the people is better. Best we stop complaining about it because we don't want rain. We, I prefer right. the sun right now rather than rain. I'm very pleased that we, we are this. here in the sunshine, beautiful weather to celebrate carnival and the people are having a good time. The next band is trying to make their way onto the street. Not sure what the holdup is, but, but when they do come, Josette, they are coming well organized. They are coming ready to revel, so that, that, is, that is good. They're not, they're not coming lit and still coming disorganized and all over the place. They are coming and they are coming ready. Well, well, well. Um, we see women scratching their heads. <laughs> I don't know why. I wonder why. <laughs> well, one, there are some beautiful ladies One said my head scratching me. Woi, woi, woi. Hebe. A lot of eyes will boil their peas today. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to hear Shelly's song, at least pass for once, my, my man. Oh, <laughs> Stasha, Stasha's song. And oh. you know, everybody sings that, you know, young, old, everybody oh, yeah. is singing that song, my bad, my man. A lot of them are singing and they're not saying my man, but they are singing my, that my song. Man. And you, you, you cannot go wrong with that. There's not no. a lot of words. You don't have nothing to memorize. And the mm. rest of the lyrics, you pick it up along the That's way. Right. But the important part is the chorus. My man, my man. Huh. So right now on the street is another another troop coming up. Um, that's Pulse coming up. I said hysteria earlier, but that's actually Pulse all dressed in white on the streets of Roseau right now. Pulse is dressed. They believe it's the Pulse Experience. That's their full name, Pulse X. Pulse is coming up, bending the corner of um, Independent Street looking lovely just as amnesia band did as well as the other groups and pulse is dressed all in the white they look like angels on the street right now carnival angels well, i'd like to see your angels are doing on, in carnival well <laughs> just like you know it, you always uh, have to free up so the angels yes. are freed up today they, there's a name for this but i'm not seeing the name quite clearly when they get closer we'll have to figure that out but pulse experience is coming up on on the streets in white and this is their first round. They have just started their round. They haven't been on the street yet for the morning or the afternoon. So Pulse is coming on up. And Pulse is quite full. 
Joseph, very I, full I'm indeed. wondering, in those who are late, were they, were they supposed to follow a schedule like, you know, like a number one and number two, something like that? I have. And then maybe some of them stayed back. Those, they cannot be penalized for that, though. Well, I, I have so. I have no idea. Um, one of the judges passed by, but she was um, in the moment of judging a group that was passing, so I couldn't really speak to her. That okay. was the Lady S who was passing ah, by. She's I one of the judges her. on the street. You could see her walking quickly yeah. with her folder and her pencil boy. And Lady S was passing by, but we couldn't have a word with her at the time. But you see, they don't want to answer questions when they are um, right, because it, we don't judging. Want to, we don't want to say yeah, that they would, this yeah. happened and that happened. Yes, we want, we want the um, results to be a surprise. don't want to give any hints this afternoon. And You know, you, you can't fault them for that. You see, but we cannot ask at Calypso Show who won before they announce it. We cannot ask at Carnival who <laughs> won man of, the, uh, man of the Band or Best Band no, before they announce it. Have to be announced by the judges yes and that will be posted and dbs will bring you those results but the judges are all over they're all around the street um seeing what the bands are bringing they're looking for organization they are looking for things such as um creativity and things as involvement so a lot of things are and being presentation judged and presentation too, eh? as well yes so you don't want to come on the road and tidy no don't do that come on the road and look organized but right now, Pulse is coming on up, looking well organized, that is. And they have a very large truck behind them. The Pulse experience right there, dressed in all white. Ladies, I want you to give me my best 
work this afternoon. <laughs>
Well, Josette, that was Paul's experience. Definitely an experience out there in town. Wow, wow, wow. Out there in Grandstand. Grandstand. You said wow. Wow. <laughs> Josette, it was, it was just amazing. They came out in, although they were not with the rest, they came out in a large group. In a la in yeah, a I think to me that's the largest color. group I've seen. Yes, yeah, so far, so I far, believe yes. so, I believe so. And they came out with a lot of color. They yeah. had rainbow colored feathers and their white troop. That, it was actually called a fina. I, I got a glimpse of their flag. It was called a fina. And Pulse Experience, the, the, the people that are in that band are definitely having an experience on the streets. Well, it was amazing. And I'm telling you, I'm very proud of the Dominican women who feel very comfortable in their skin. Yes. So they can be on the road and, hey, they're enjoying themselves. Dominican women are confident women. Very. Very confident women and they are, they are on the road in grand style, on the road in these different um, costume bands. We have seen Amnesia. We just saw Pulse. And we have um, Hysteria to come onto the street still. We saw Thunderbirds as well. So these people are definitely coming out and coming out quite largely. These costumes are getting yes. bigger as they go by. They are getting even bigger um, on the streets of Roseau. Hi, Curtis. Well, let's see. I'm not sure if there's any other band coming up. No, I'm not. I'm not sure. Um, um, there's one band I have not seen yet. That's um, Hysteria. Hysteria. I haven't seen Hysteria on the on the streets yet. So probably there was a troop who joined to the front. Probably. Yeah, it could be something like that. But then there the are more costume bands at about um, two o'clock. After two o'clock. That's it. No, that I believe that, that that's what we'll be seeing for the day. Um, that's the costume bands for the day. They, okay. I don't think there are any more costume bands. Um, they, they are. That's I think but, that's all of it for but today. But I must say, eh, there's a lot of energy. Yes. You yes. Have, you have to uh, have energy, Joseph, to definitely to dance that route and to, and to some of high heels too. Yes. As for that, come on. I don't. I don't think I'd make it if if I had to put heels to jump up for carnival. I don't think I would make it at all. But these women, they they came and they came out and they showed out for Carnival 2023. After two years, you expect that, uh, you, you really expect them to come and to come out in grand style. They had two years to plan, two years to sketch, two years yeah. to prepare. Well, I guess some of them will be going back to to the gym uh, to because uh, those type of costumes. <laughs> to get their carnival bodies, Josette. Yes. <laughs> it's no longer get your well, summer body, it's two, your carnival. Two years, well, one more year and I think they can do it. You know, they, they don't even have, at this point, women don't even have to go to the gym. A lot of women are now confident in how they look. And a lot of women are comfortable in their skin. And they, they are just enjoying their life. Hi, Shervin, how are you? Shervin, how are you? I am doing well, thanks, and you? I go, I go, I, I saw you up and down with the different troops. Yes. But I well, am not seeing any sweat. Yes. Shoving you were not jumping up, shoving you are dry. I was taking my foot. You were taking your foot and dry, shoving. Huh? Of course, if it just started, you know. All right, all right. Well, shoving, thank you, thank you a lot. Shoving is dry, but apparently the thing just started according to him. So he'll be he'll be wetting sweat later, I guess. But he's enjoying himself, shoving Dominic out there on the streets. Very involved in a lot he's of always, things. I was just going to yes. say that he's involved in so many yes. things. Church. And all, I mean. very, very involved young man, and we are, we applaud the young people for you know making their mark on yeah. society as time goes by. They're definitely doing a job well done out here in society. The new generation is doing doing their thing. But I can tell you, there are more people here right now, and a lot of them maybe they come again to prepare themselves for tonight. Mm -hmm. So they're in the city. Yes, yes. And they they are. They are ready and the band is hot, hot and very hot. The children are out here as well, having the time of their lives. They are well dressed, looking very adorable out there in the streets of Roseau. 
and we to our listeners once again we are bringing you live coverage of Mas Alawi 2023 um, we are in Rosa right now for Carnival Tuesday and this broadcast is brought to you through the kind compliments of Max Roy Trading, Jackson Shop as well as Domlet and I'm here with Josette Seraphine Hedrington and we're doing our best to bring you the live coverage of what's happening out here in the streets of Rosso. <laughs> Joseph, right. why are you laughing? No, I'm laughing. I was, I'm thinking if you're still saying that we're going beyond with, with time. Oh, well, we suppo we're supposed to end here at 2 o'clock where okay. um, I Norin, believe Norin and Fadul, and Fadul will take, yes, will take should over. Be there. Yeah. So at 2, Norin, I hope Norin has um, recovered from all time sick. Oh my goodness. Because Norin was taking her food, you know, that, that's the time for Definitely. Norin. She didn't come for nothing. No, no, no. no Probably no. leaving St. Thomas. No, Norin came to leave. She came to Carnival leave. in um, two years. Mm -hmm. no. Norin came to live out in Dominica and she is definitely living. She was a t shirt bad yesterday. I saw her on my screen. She cannot say she wasn't there. So I saw her with my own eyes. The but thing is, one of the things I was praying about is for being safe. So far, I've not had incidents so if at all. And if any incidents happen, probably they were minor. That's why we yes, didn't hear about it. Yes, if it is, it. yeah. But, but we, so that is are, wonderful to hear. We are hoping the carnival stays um, stress free, violence free. And you know, everybody just has a clean carnival, a clean celebration. This is all we ask from Dominicans, and so far they have been doing a, a good job. Maybe there have been one, two issues here and there, but nothing so grave um, to disrupt all of the um, activities happening yeah. for the carnival celebration. But you know what I know? I saw our bands, eh? they are very respectful of the law. Mm. Now, when they said 10 o'clock, I was watching. 10 mm. o'clock they stopped mm. you know that was and last night that was last night yes oh, wow. and tonight i think would be 10 o'clock too mm. so All we just right. have to be satisfied you know with an early morning up to 10 o'clock in the you know in the night mm. and everybody was satisfied i didn't hear anybody you know talk about it uh -huh. or oh, let's do one more time no because that, the bands that's, that's know excellent. that they will be held accountable that, that's excellent that's excellent that you know people have been saying oh why some people say why so early but there are other places which stop their bands at 8 o'clock. That's right. There are some Caribbean countries, they said 8 o'clock is the end time. And we're here, we're getting 10 o'clock. What more can we ask for? For a carnival, we're out on the streets up until late into the night. And the Dominican people should be happy with that. And I'm happy that they, you know, they um, behaved. So yep. that today they wouldn't have said, well, you all made noise yesterday for our 10 o'clock. Today is 7 o'clock. We don't want that. No, definitely <laughs> not. But we are we are in the streets of Roseau. There's nothing happening right now on Independent Street. Um, the troops have moved on. They have made their their first round. Some of the costume bands, their first round. Carnival royalty has made their second round onto the street, and they are most likely tired. So I'm not sure if they'll be passing back. Um, Maybe some of them, because some of them, when they reach to that um, section. They go straight to the financial center. Yes, and that that's others will pass through. So that's the start point and yes. end point for um, the carnival bands today. But the ladies in their costumes and the men in their costumes are making their rounds. They are consistently going around Roseau and dancing with no lack of energy, no lack of luster, just going full force, no matter what. And the DJs are doing an exceptional job keeping the hype out there in the streets of Roseau. They're definitely doing that very well. Um, trilogy at uh, Calypso High. <laughs> he, he, he took on, Cal uh, well, I would say, uh, with Tasha P. He was really in a high. I mean, that, mm -hmm. that, I mean, I could really understand how he felt. Because I'm sure somewhere he was like, hmm, you think a Buyo artist can get that Calypso going? And, and he he's did. still very involved in the Buyo music. Oh, yes. Trilogy made... Um, a song with Signal Band, which is um, pumping up the place. He's with Signal Band with that song, um, We Ready. And he's also with them for another song. I can't quite remember the name now, but Trilogy is still on the carnival scene in Calypso and Bouillon, two things that make carnival music out in Dominica. Currently, people are just walking up and down on Independent Street, but the bands are 
they, they have passed by in front of us. People are still um, getting ready to join them. So some, some people, people have came very late. Some people are, are just at some, like we heard from one of the gentlemen we spoke to. A lot of people are just here for the party. They don't hear about this um, best band points thing. They're just mm -hmm. here to have a good time. And they, they are coming at this time because that is when the good time starts. Well, so, I will have to go home for lunch, take a rest, and come back tonight. Huh. Well, Joseph, <laughs> I will not be coming back tonight. But uh, I will be taking my foot in my house because there was I, I heard the music last night and you would swear there was carnival at home because we couldn't come down to town last night. Oh. But we were full blown blasting all of the carnival music that was played on the street at home. So what? everyone was reveling, but reveling in our own area. I saw that on the road and I mean everybody was so respectful, mm -hmm. you know, not hitting anyone. Even if you jump, you see somebody will touch and say a matter so of like, like sorry, oh, that kind of you, thing I saw. You are that. in the jam, you expect for somebody to jam you. you okay, like what, what is I said? Um, if you can, if you can't, Papa, me mother um, build you away, Papa. Aye, aye, aye. Um, if you, you can't take the heat, don't come in the jam. And then if you come to a wet fit, you have to expect to get wet. Exactly. You, you, know? you cannot come to the jam and be vexed because somebody bongs your shoulder. Come on, man. This is, this is carnival. This is a lot of people in one area. We expect that. If, if you don't want to get bounced up, you know, just take a step out. Take a step out of the, the barrier and you don't jump up, jump up out of the barrier so you, you won't get um, knocked up in the, in the band. Okay, as we can see right now, everything, you know, just came to a lull. Okay. And then we still have some who are lot uh, who are late. <laughs> yes. Trying to go catch up with their band, with their group. And you never know, are maybe they, some of them are were working. Are they really though? Are they really trying to catch up? They are taking their time to get Very there. Very much so. Yes. I'll be back, I'll be back Josette. Daddy, 
I'm writing you this letter Might be the first of many since you've been gone From you left us in 2018, oh gosh, there's been so much going on A few good men patriots call the win Some can say they're working for the country's benefit But in the long run, they were so green Looking for their pockets Looking nice, but some workers 
go like his designs. Breaking news, breaking news, for the lies, you and I read. Tell VBS for me, immigration trying to defraud me. Boy. Well, they thought it was a tornado and he rocked in a volcano. It was mystery lady on a rampage. When you play vibrating, everybody dancing. This African beauty on a rampage, on a rampage. Last year, go for stick was a hit. This year, I double in it. So, you who party bon pied. Hey, you la, who went dancing? Hey, you la, who went on his head? Hey, you la, have a season on it. What they don't say for me.
If you don't support the government, your future is in jeopardy. If they who hold the majority, if they who run the country, if they who decide ultimately that they want total control, if you refuse to throw the line, you will surely be left behind. Cause labor is in control And we can't argue with a soul
How you feeling? How you feeling? Yo, 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 yo. How you feeling? How you feeling? I hear you making more bomb than Russia. I'm taking my wood and a bakery inside of the country.
undisputed king. Sour, 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 hot. What a piece of fun, Jaja created that. When the party die, I can resurrect it. The life of the party, the life of the party depends on me. The life of the party, the life of the party depends on me. I enjoy my life, I enjoy my life, I enjoy my life. I enjoy my life, I enjoy my life, I enjoy my life. Stress free, stress free. Nobody go bother me.
Let's go to the front of the truck. 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 He's serious. To the front of the truck. To the front of the truck. To the front of the truck. Let's go to the front of the truck. How we looking? Like a cartel. I'm in time like Rolex. What are we saying? 
see you now. Ride it, ride it, ride it. Let me see you. Ride it, ride it, ride it. Let me see you. Go down, set it, arch it, stick it. Hey, girl. How you looking, girl? The people that want to read him, they want vibes. What shall we do? Ask your back. Bend down. Sink it in. Move around. Ask your back. Bend down. Remix in the thing. Let's go now. Very good body girl. Very good body girl.
in this river land of Dominica. I have a thing against mapping and digital. I fash it with DPS and flow. Lucille mad and she pets and she tired. We do a school. Yes, do a school. Hey. I went by my down speaker to get an opinion on my composition for the carnival. My old position was here. I had no fear when she gave me an answer. I feel so sorry for my partner. Who did you let them? She said she won't want stuff for me. Yeah, like want stuff for me. It's love for me, and it's love for me. Oh, 
should back up on this side. Claiming this is modern age and we are no longer slaves. All Caledonians should back up and hide. They put Buyo in the front, even foreign soca songs. Hide Calypso in a Kuwait in the city. What I really want to know, who run in carnival so? To butcher we culture so openly. But try as they may, they could never get away. With such a deceitful act, Calypso warriors step up to the plate every time. Calypso under attack. Oh gosh, warriors come out, warriors come out. Calypso needs you once more. They making cool a pet on a final night, trying to kick her out the door. Talking with that crooked smile, they can try, let them try. Oy, oy. Calypso can't die. They could beat her up and box her up and crush her like a fly. Calypso can't die. Oh gosh.
Politicians' agenda. See men, ham and turkey, has they blown it? Just stand for your right, your enemy. Like people marry, got us all free. What do you think hard? Go tell me not feeling it. I can't afford a pound of hearing, but you're telling me go make children. Whoa. I need people promoting culture. No one number one trait is back to. Now with this back door, you promoted. And now look COVID-19, all over spreading, with no proper contact tracing. COVID numbers growing like the airport, but Anibal is Let's 
playing politics And it's such a shame that the country get this way We only have a few good men patriotical the way Some can say they're working for the country's benefit But in the long run, they were so green Looking for their pockets
as a little boy, I used to please Inside my bed, my man used to beat me To watch my TV dead, all of a sudden I grow up towards a man I thought that will stop I never stop when I drink my rum And I go on sleep I just put my bed into your them Calling me
Massagem, massagem
man just coming through. This one DJ Afi, we say thank you. Fantasy
praises I give to the Almighty. Yeah, try the other. He never give up on me. He sent me a good To bring out the talent in me. Why? He sent me a good So what is written? Let it be. Let it be. I 
I would give in. No stop them from this sin. No. Try with me with them by a slide. Yeah, I man will rise. You can take everything I have and break everything I am. And it's so energizes me. Try to tear me down. I will rise from the ground. And it's so strengthens me. So press me with up the seat until nothing left in me. I remain me my dear me, can't wait to get to the nuns of me. I did I, na 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 na, yeah. I did I, I tell you, I did I, did I, yeah. Oh, why? Their citizens in poverty, so they can buy supporters' loyalty. They love Obia, so they cast in spells. Oppose them, your life becomes a living hell. Oh, but more than my good partner Steve, he was living. Principles, ah. You want to be loved and popular by oppressing your own poor people. Boy, oh, you think that being closest to the priest or the pastor will take you anywhere? Yeah. How can you be a good prime minister in Dominica if you don't love your neighbor?
Good afternoon, uh, Dominique. Good afternoon, Eastern Caribbean. And that's where we actually commence the afternoon proceedings of a last lap in Dominica. The uh, carnival returned this year after two years' absence through COVID-19. But uh, we are back in a bang. And DBS Radio, as usual, 51 years as an institution, an educational institution, a broadcasting institution, making it possible to bring you the proceedings into your hearts, into your homes. Today is Mardi Gras, and it's the final day where Catholics can um, have a good time, party. Uh, tomorrow will be the commencement of Lent. So today is the final day for all Catholics to eat and have a good time to eat flesh and, and what have you. And tomorrow, the commencement of the Lenten season. It has been a wonderful carnival celebrations thus far. We had very little incidents uh, from all reports yesterday. And today we have a wonderful weather. Just about 26 degrees in the capital city. And DBS Radio once again privileged to bring you the proceedings. I should be joined by King Curtis Matthew momentarily. I suspect something kept him back. <laughs> he will tell us when he gets here. But we are in the streets of the capital city, Roseau, and we are just across uh, the junction of Great Marlborough Street and Independence Street. Just across uh, the Trade Union Building, a historic building in Dominica, quite a bit of uh, very important um, general meetings would have been held here in this facility, that's the Dominica Trade Union. Uh, Mr. Bernard Nicholas, the leader of the trade union, would have been part of this organization for several, several decades, possibly the oldest uh, union representative on the island. We also just across another historic uh, pillar that's uh, the Piper Step, and that's uh, one of the venues for Papi Show Wedding several, several years ago. As a matter of fact, Swinging Stars would normally have their Monday uh, street party. That is the Monday, uh, pr uh, Monday leading up to Carnival, Monday and Tuesday, they normally have their activity where they actually play all the hottest and the hottest Calypsos, the ones that are road match contenders. So we are in a historic point to my left. Normally, they, they still call there the Bank Forces. <laughs> and some people would still refer it as one of the branches of the NBD. And to my right, would be the Jackson's shop, a very popular shop, uh, a few decades in, uh, in the capital city. And Mr. Jackson at the helm, uh, since the seas, his son, Egbert Jackson, took over. And it's a very popular uh, a shop in town where you could get your groceries and also your beverages. And they are also uh, sponsoring our internet. So we want to say thank you to Jackson possibly over 30 years in business in the capital city. So we are in the streets of the capital and we are bringing it to you as it unfolds. I am Leroy Waddick Charles. It's a pleasure to uh, bring you the proceedings. I'll be joined by King Curtis Matthew momentarily. And he will tell us why is he late <laughs> or if he will be upset. But approaching us, I suspect, let us have a look. I can see brass. I can see uh, some members of the Swinging Stars. So the Swinging Stars are approaching us now. The mighty, mighty Swinging Stars recently celebrated the anniversary. And uh, they are on the street. So those of you who are wondering whether we will eventually get some Calypsos. And as we speak, the Commonwealth of Dominican Police Force just apprehended an over-excited, over-exuberant, Reveler who doesn't seem to want to behave and about four or five police officers quickly apprehended him and I suspect he will spend the night over at the facility at the headquarters. Swinging Stars is approaching us. We will try to take a little music from them as they now enter the perimeter 
And like we said, we are in a historic area. The Dominica Trade Building, the former Backpasses, Piper Step, and Jackson's. Let's take in some music from the mighty Swinging Stars. Just to give you some information on the Swinging Stars. They have been around for over six decades. Now, man later is uh, the manager, Peter Later, is the band leader. And they would have been the uh, sort of, uh, you, you can say, the, uh, the master's degree uh, facility for musicians. Every single musician of some level of prominence would have passed through the Swinging Stars or have relations with the Swinging Stars. They have at the front two uh, former monarchs in Daddy Chess and Tasha P and then the man of the golden voice, Philip Hosford. They have been backing up uh, Calypso's for over five decades. And um, just this year, they celebrated the uh, Stardom 10th, 50 years, the Golden Jubilee. And um, they continue to celebrate the Golden Jubilee. They have transcended on the streets. I could see Tasha P from the distance. Uh, with uh, a sort of pum pum shots and um, some uh, silvery uh, leotard sort of outfit. Daddy Chess, as usual, plaid with his red cap. He seemed to favor the color red and some red shots. And um, I could see the various members, they just get in their, their final checks. Soleil and uh, Emil, they have cranked up. They have cranked up. The greatest dance band in the world, Swinging Stars, have cracked up with one of Daddy Chess's songs for 2023.
This is DBS Radio, Swinging Stars. Just warming up, just warming up, and um, it's no uh, surprise that they started off with uh, one of the songs, one of the members, uh, that's uh, Daddy Chess. Uh, just joining us about an hour late is King Curtis Matthew. Good afternoon, King Curtis Matthew. Hey, Wadix, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to the listeners of DBS Radio. Uh, this is Carnival Tuesday in Dominica, and uh, people are enjoying themselves in the streets of Roseau. What else you said, I'm an hour late, traffic for one, and I was in town earlier on, taking in some of the vibes this morning, uh, combined with uh, a lunch that went on for a little while. So when you combine all these, I realized I was going to be late for some time, but I'm happy to be around to bring the listeners day number two, the final day of Carnival in Dominica. I called all over for you, Curtis. I called the China Friendship because I was scared. I called the police headquarters. I was also scared. I called Cecil Joseph. I called the Ivone John Baptist. I called the Watchman at DBS Radio. And no one saw you. So I said, well, in my mind, I tried to call your wife, but I said, no. This man is now a big man. I cannot disturb him and his wife. And if he happened to decide, he want to do anything the adults would do before he come down. I cannot disturb him. Well, uh, a commitment is a commitment, and the commitment was there for me to be around here this afternoon. So you're sure we and, didn't disturb you? Uh, no, no, not at all. We did not disturb anything? Not at all. So I, the commitment was already here, and I would be here for uh, a certain time until I saw on the schedule from four until. We'll see how that goes. Okay. Well, we just saw swinging stars passing by, and uh, they just actually started. With Daddy Chess first song, and it's no surprise Daddy Chess is part of the band. And um, I, I wonder if he's actually taking part or if they broke the rule for the road match. Because we know, according to the association, that you can't sing your own song, which I think is absolutely nonsense. Yeah, but these are the rules. And uh, when I saw him, a little bit surprised. Um, I'm wondering still, is he still a contender for road match? Because Obviously, I've heard Daddy Chess's song played a few times on the road. Uh, the decision to be on the band singing his own song, that has me a little bit baffled, but Hon I don't know. Honestly, I wish all the contenders sing their song on the band. Because I think this is an antiquated policy, and this, is, this policy should be crushed. Why shouldn't a Calypsonia, you, as a matter of fact, Calypso is now challenged on the road. You can't expect the Buyo bands to sing Calypso. Whereby you have the Calimsonians, give them the ability to contact the Buyo bands to sing their song. Why you want to prevent them from singing their song? To me that is utter nonsense and this is antiquated and should be abolished immediately. Well, we don't know whether there have been some rule changes, but we will see how that goes. I'm very sure Daddy Chess is aware of what he's doing. Also, um, I think there was also on the band um, Tasha P. Tasha P. Tasha P is also singing. Another contender. But what were your observations this morning, Kenneth? Well, I move around Rosso, um, a late start, there were some complaints about a late start, but from the time it started, the parade, um, things flowed very nicely. Uh, there were a number of people in Rosso looking at the parade. I thought the, the, the parade itself looked very good on the streets of Rosso. And once again, I saw a few uh, of the floats passing by and the bands passing by. Once again, feminine dominated, feminine dominated, and uh, the outfits are uh, looking good. Yes, there were some bands with only ladies in the bands, and one wonders why. But I saw a few bands this morning with only ladies, and uh, some really impressive bands as far as I'm concerned. So what about your um, opinion on the outfits? Well, I, I, I mean, the thing is the, the outfits look very good indeed. The ladies feel very comfortable with what they were wearing this morning. And uh, they look very good. And all I can say is that um, an impressive show for Carnival in Dominica this year. Did it remind you of the beach or somewhere, on the, somewhere close to the beach? The uh, outfits? Not, not really, not really, not really at all. <laughs> not really. But a band is now approaching us. Uh, can't you make out which band is this, Kenneth? Uh, obviously, this one is uh, powered by Kyrie FM. I see Kyrie FM, I see um, Kumuli, Kumuli Doing Center, yes, also uh, Flo, 
but we can also describe it's one of those um, contemporary bands and uh, we can see uh, with the swimsuit type outfits uh, we see white and we see multicolor uh, and as usual with their feathers yes that band was in the parade from morning from since morning that particular band has been in the parade and they continue to be around looking really good indeed as we said all in white Yes. Oh, right, all in white. And, Mostly uh, white, but then at the front, they're not sure if this particular uh, individual is in the band. I could see a few uh, multicolor uh, outfits in the band. Oh, this is a uh, signal band. Okay, so this, this is signal band. And um, signal band, once again, uh, I oh, sorry, look, we get the wrong information there. It is WCK. So WCK promised us that they would be on the road today. And I guess this is WCK, and um, I cannot recognize, okay, yes, I cannot recognize Clint Henderson. I can recognize Clint Henderson, so it would be the WCK minus Ra, Derek Rapidus. Yes, um, there is Clint Henderson, for, for, is that Clint Henderson? Yes, is that, that's Clint Henderson in um, black. I can see Cornell on keyboards, so yes, it is. The original WCK and, and this minus. Cornell, Cornell Philip. And I could see Nai. Nai is also very close to the truck. So it is the original WCK minus Derek Rapitas. In a while, we'll attempt to get the name of the band that they are pouring. But what we can tell you is they look very impressive. Once again, uh, hundreds of ladies with white. Uh, costumes reminiscent of uh, swimsuit type outfits looking and um, the ladies look voluptuous as possible as, as 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 can be with the feathers and a uh, very impressive ladies yes what else do we take some some music from the WCK band yes let's give our listeners and viewers some music from WCK group is Pulse. Also Kalin XP is also at the front. It's a Paul's band, one of the uh, costume bands. They have been around for several years, and that is uh, their contribution to Mass Dominic 2023. And uh, they are powered by, I suspect, a combination of Kalin XP and the WCK. More music from the WCK and Kalin XP. Radio live, Curtis Matthew, and they are actually getting their levels together. I uh, just saw Lyndon Lestrade, uh, one of the uh, engineers, really engineering this one. 
So this is promising to be a real spectacle. Let's go!
This is DBS Radio. We are live in the streets of Rosso. The action is tight. This is Kalinek. And um, we understood soon. Switch over to the WCK. So Kari next week. And she is actually and the band actually accompanying the Pulse costume. And quite an attractive band. Several, several lovely ladies between and um, I guess just to keep the balance but what's it <laughs> things are getting tighter guys things are getting tighter in xp yes Kali next Charles is having a very good afternoon. She is really singing out and uh, the band's playing. And you can see the expression. Okay, this is TBS Radio, and like we told you earlier, this is the Pauls Carnival Band, and they are really making a statement in the streets of the capital city, Rose. So I tell you, quite a bit of beautiful ladies, quite a bit of beautiful ladies. How are you enjoying yourself, my dear? I am, I am. I can't complain for my first time. I can't complain. Absolutely, you heard it. Sawa sawa. How are you, sawa sawa? My brother, what's happening? What's going on there? Everything is okay. Roman CEO. Roman CEO. My brother. You enjoying yourself? Right now. Labia. I enjoy my life. Also. You enjoying it too? I'm enjoying myself, Sawa Sawa. Okay, my brother. Welcome. What happened to you this year? We didn't um, hear anything positive from you this year in terms of well, the Calypso. Well, they don't like my song. They say my song is rude. Just because I sing in about when last your blast well yeah when last your blast that is a different kind of level of kaiso you had some powerful kaiso before and it was well masked but when last your blast isn't when as masked it, as the others it masked. it masked because i say when last you suck a lolly no man we need to change the lyrics <laughs> we need okay, to anyway. soften up the lyrics anyway, my brother. they boycott me i don't even know problem. it's not boycott you knock out your own self I don't think you know. Basi had a song for you, you didn't sing it. Wow. I, I, my brother, when you ready? You, <laughs> you, ban, wow. your, you ban your writer. No, I did not decline him. So what happened to you and your writer? The last verse I didn't get correctly. You didn't get correctly? No, I was, in, had... I was in America. Wow, toying. Amen. In other words, you were busy. Amen. So you didn't and have time to study your life. Listen, I studied two of them. And the last one, when they come down, he gave, it, gave one... Did, did, but you only did it two verses to pass through the eliminations. I did not. I'm not in elimination. Oh no! Yeah, sorry. You were in the quarterfinals. Oh, big man thing quarterfinals. Hey, hey, man. But now we have to go back in the quarterfinals in the eliminations. I look. Yeah, I look at that. I make sure I go and dominate, my brother. Okay, my brother. Do you know this year? Um, walks up with you. 
I don't care. And DBS even beat me. You know my DBS beat you. I don't care about that. You know my defender beat you. I don't care with that. You know this say about last Kakarat. I don't care with that. <laughs> the <laughs> the sour sour <laughs> from Bordersville Charisma View. We just saw the pulse costume band and once again at the front quite a bit of color and um, we saw a spectacle with a white uh, tops and white bottoms reminiscent of a swimsuit and that's at the front white and multicolored at the back quite a bit of uh, ladies once again and um, we estimated it as around 90% uh, women in the Paul's band seem to be a very organized band and they are powered by Carlin XP and we understand the band will transform into WCK sometime later. So we saw members like uh, Cornell Fingers Philip, Smokey Philip, Wackers, and uh, they are all providing the musical accompaniment for uh, Carlin XP. Curtis Murphy should be somewhere around. Curtis Murphy, are you somewhere around? Yeah, Leroy Warwick Charles. Um, yes, I am just observing uh, another band coming through. I'm not sure what it is, amnesia, but it's a, it's, a, it's a really large group of people coming through. I saw uh, a few of the local DJs and uh, one or two other people on the, on the truck. So it's a massive band coming through and we have to begin to prepare for this one. What, what were your impressions of the Pulse band backed up by Kalin XP and WCK? I thought, I thought Kalin XP held her in very well. I thought the band played some very, very good music. We have some experienced musicians there, Cornel Philip, I saw on drums, um, Pelham John Baptist, Pelham John Baptist, who played for WCK for many years. So some experienced musicians, and the music sound very, very sweet indeed. Yeah, but like Cornel told us um, yesterday, they will actually be doing it in two parts. And I guess this is the first part with Canon XP, and later they will transform to the WCK. Um, we saw Nye around, we saw Clint around. And um, I guess they may be the major vocalist uh, minus Ra. So whatever has happened, whatever took place between Ra and the rest of the WCK, it doesn't seem uh, that it will mend anytime soon because um, they're on the road. They performed uh, sometime at, the, at this year's carnival. I think it was Buyo Day. And we didn't see Ra. Ra came up with a different band. So let's hope that somewhere in the future, the brothers can come back together and bring back the flavor, the chemistry, what made them stood supreme around the Caribbean. But it looks good. Last lap. It's a uh, carnival a la oui. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 Are we approaching an ambulance? Yes, this is the ambulance. I went around to find out. It's not often we see the ambulance on the carnival route. Let's, see, we, let's see if we can have a quick chat with the driver. Uh, driver, driver, can we have a word with you? Or can we have a word with you? Um, your assistant. Uh, how are you this afternoon, sir? Good afternoon, I'm okay. Uh, we noticed for the first time that the ambulance services is in the capital city. Tell us exactly uh, what is your mission. Oh, uh, we have a... Uh, who is responsible? Can we have a few words? Because just, just we are live, by the way. We are live on Facebook. We are live on YouTube. This is DBS Radio. And we are also live on uh, TBS Our Voice. She and that's the audio. Be, yeah, she seemed to be coming through. Um, okay. So, Kenneth, let's see if we can have a word. If for the first time we are seeing a live ambulance in the capital city. Uh, she's coming on the other side. We just want to have a word. If, uh, this is Trilogy. Trilogy passing through yes, the reigning uh, monarch. Yeah, a we, quick we must, word. We must have a quick word of Trilogy. How are you, Trilogy? I good, I good, I good. I nice, I nice. I'm the run there, but I see all you, so I must stop. And, you, know? you must stop. Yes. Uh, that's because you are heading to the double. Well, I had it. Well, if I were to to the double, the monarch and the road match. Well, we tried some. Yeah, yeah, we tried some. We tried some. Yeah. But tell us one few. We have to welcome this brother in a massive way. Twenty-four yes. year old yes. uh, trilogy uh, for the first time making history, beating five monarchs uh, to the coveted crown. Nobody in Dominica has competed for the first time to go on to win the Calypso crown. This is trilogy Kyle John Baptist. He has created history. And Leroy Warwick Charles, he is really an important person in the Calypso art form right now. Tell us how you feel in Trilogy, first of all. Um, well, you know, I'm just very grateful for and very ecstatic and happy for the, 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 the embrace of the Dominican people and accepting me as their king. You know, 
even um, with the results and you know just accepting me to be the monarch of Dominica. Your game, your game plan to actually release your second sound on the night actually worked for you? Yes, I know and, and I'm very grateful to my team for their idea and I know some people, some critics Probably even you yourself. Yes, uh, yes. I was very con No, I was not critical, but concerned. Yes, yes. But um, you know, I trusted in my team, and that's important. That I listen to the people that more experienced and they know better than me in terms of calypso, and that's what got me here. The crown. Was there a Ray, uh, past monarch part of your team, a priest presently? Yes, and that's Father Briggs. <laughs> <laughs> what Father are your Briggs, plans? Father Briggs, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, Father Briggs. What are your plans, trilogy, moving forward? We also know that you are versatile, bouillon, cadas, no calypso, whatever they give you, you can roll on it. Well, you know, the plan is to make more music. And the plan is to encourage other young people to make good music, to make lyrical music, to, in to increase the level of lyrical content that we put out there so that, you know, we can have um, a wider variety or better chance of making it outside in terms of music. There, was, there were quite a bit of young people this year in the junior bouillon monarch. What would you want to tell them to encourage the genre and quite a bit of young Calypsonians in the Calypso arena? What do you want to tell them to encourage them? Well, you know, I'm here to tell them that us as the older ones right now, we're not, we're not going to neglect them. We have people like myself, Shelly, we really care about the, 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 the future of the, the Buya music and we will work with this, with, this, with this young children who are very interested of keeping this standard and, you know, continuing the legacy of our local any plans for travel in the making? Have you gotten any gigs over? Boy, well, imagine this morning I get some messages there. But you know, we'll, we'll try and see what happens. Okay, Curtis, any final no, question? Trilogy, congratulations okay. again. Thank you so much, Curtis and Wadix. God bless you, a powerful yes. and an eloquent reigning monarch. But By the is way, this an employee of the National Cooperative Credit Union. And we are uh, opposite the National Bank, the National Cooperative Credit Union as we speak, sorry. And um, this band is which band? Amnesia? Is that Amnesia? It could, it could be. Let's find out. Okay, let's find out. Uh, uh, good afternoon to you. What is the name of this band? What? Name of your band? What? what is the name of this oh, band? Fantasy Tribe. Oh, Fantasy Tribe. So that's Amnesia or Hysteria? Amnesia? What is the name of the overall name of your band? Because we try to look for a banner. It's Fantasy Tribe. Okay, Fantasy Tribe. So we'll get the name. Fantasy Tribe is, I guess, the sub name. It should be a sub name. It should be a sub name. A bigger band. For a bigger band, yes, Curtis Matthew. But once again, I mean color. Quite a bit of color. And uh, you are seeing some of the finest ladies in the Western Hemisphere as they once again showcase what God has given them, Curtis Matthew. Good afternoon to you. Okay, let's see if we can say hi to this young lady. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. What's your, what's your name? What's up? What's your name? Andrina. Right, Andrina, what's the name of this band? Fantasy. Fantasy. Fantasy what it is? No, you. Fantasy. Fantasy Tribe. Okay, well, I guess it's Fantasy Tribe. Let's call it Fantasy Tribe, but I know there is some other name. Right, we'll, we'll find out. But then join themselves. And this is the Signal Band. So Signal Band and Fantasy Tribe in the capital city. I didn't get that? He's not on right now. Okay, so the DJs are on. But there is, I mean, this is a spectacle in the city. Is this, is this, Curtis Matthew? Okay, I think you have some issues there, Curtis. But this is a spectacle in the capital city. Women in all different colors, a kaleidoscope of colors. I sort of love the multicolored dark purple shimmering dark purple and um there is a little piece that is uh actually covering the organs of some of the women but i tell you they look good Curtis Matthew. yes this is a beautiful band the ladies look very very beautiful indeed and everyone is enjoying himself uh really, really magnificent on the streets of Roseau. the ladies are all enjoying it and uh, what a way they're celebrating Carnival Tuesday in Dominica. The ladies are mag magnificent. Yes, Curtis Matthew. Let's see if we can take in some music from the band.
This is DBS Radio. We are having fun in the streets of the capital city. Fantasy Tribe and some of the popular DJs in Dominica. More music. Yeah. Sing it. Sing it. Shut up. Sing it. Smooth, smooth, 
Radio, and we are live in the streets of the capital city, Rosso Fantasy Tribe, and uh, they are presently powered by a few of the top DJs in Dominica, Mr. Mystic, uh, DJ Snow, and soon they will uh, be powered by the Signal Band. So presently, some DJs are playing some music, Mr. Mystic, DJ Snow, and um, soon from now. The signal band will take over. So more music as uh, we can observe uh, in the distance. Just over Sufre Scott said a few showers of blessings in that particular area. Uh, it appears to be a slight uh, uh, easterly drizzle. Let's hope it can just be blown away. More music from the DJs. Okay, once again, this is TBS Radio, and um, really a powerful, powerful uh, endorsement by the DJs or some of the top DJs from Dominica. DJ Snow, DJ or Major Mystic, and they on uh, the same truck, just powered by the same sound system that will be pouring signal band in a while. So what normally they do is the band would play for uh, several hours. And while they take a break for refreshments and take a break to uh, possibly get something to eat, the DJs would then take over. But they are making a statement in the capital city. They are presently in the vicinity of the NCCU. And they are heading uh, southbound. Yes, Curtis Matthew, I see you are bumping to the sounds. I see you are bumping to the sounds. Sorry, Warwick, I didn't get that. I can. I saw you bumping. Yes, um, although we on air, Warwick, when the opportunity does come, we shake a leg once or twice, shake a leg and, uh, you know, do our own thing. Is that your way of warming up for later? You never know. I mean, that, that's a possibility. But I am really thoroughly enjoying the music on the streets of Roseau. Every band we've seen, they have played very well and the, the, the patrons are enjoying the music. And um, we must say so far, I mean, earlier on, and I was just about to commend them on um, Dominican music, and all of a sudden they're hearing something from Trinidad in a remix, We Are From. 
But then, so far, the prevalence have been Dominica's music. Yes, Wadex, we've heard from afternoon since we came on, we've heard quite a few Dominica songs, and that really is encouraging. Yesterday, we were asking for it. Today, so far, we are seeing a number of the Dominican artists being featured on the streets of Roseau. Fantasy Tribe, Dennis Matthew. Fantasy Tribe seem to be another very powerful band. And they were uh, backed up by, if you notice, two of the most popular DJs in Dominica. That's a major mistake. And DJ Snow. Yeah, so they're called Fantasy Tribe. Yes. Right. Um, I thought they were a different band. Myself. But they're Fantasy Tribe. And uh, a number of the local DJs are also being showcased on that band. But it's the same set. It's the same setting for Signal Band. Right. What normally happens is when Signal would play for a few hours, uh, it's a pity the officers can't say anything to us. At least, at least, yeah, at yes. least. In Inspector Laville, Inspector Laville, just a short word from you. Uh, just to, uh, an idea. So, how are things shaping up? What have you seen? Yeah, so far, so good. So far, so good. Right, so what, what, what have you observed? What have you observed? What, what have you observed? How are, how are things shaping up on the road? Uh, so far, so good. So far, so good. Everything is okay so far. Okay, how was Carnival Monday? How was Carnival Monday? Yeah, it's great so far. Incident free. Heard any, any incidents over, let's say, in the other areas of Dominica? Yeah, no major incidents so far. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. All the best. So that's Inspector Laville. Yes. Who is uh, one of the main prosecutors at the courts in Roseau. Okay, so Marva Williams, former DFC uh, boss, and she's now the marketing executive, the marketing manager of uh, Digistel. She is one of my favorites, Shabinet. <laughs> as, first of all, we'll get into Digistel participation in Carnival in a while, but as uh, a former boss at DFC, your overall impressions? Well, what it's, of course, I am always pleased with the execution of the carnival. Let me compliment bands like, you know, Triple A, Signal Band, all the costume bands from Asia to Hysteria, all the people that put on effort. I did observe that the traditional aspect of the mass was lacking. I recall the last implementation of the festival, of the carnival we posted on having close to 50 traditional groups and that has since been gone down so I think it is something to give urgent attention because of the traditional mass, the sensei, the lago kapu, the black devils, the kali lago, that is what differentiates our carnival from other carnival and then it has to be sustained. And you think we should put more effort? more resources into making sure we preserve, preserve that aspect of our carnival. Of course, what? It's, uh, I, I, I cannot confirm that what I am about to say is definitely true. One of the complaints that would have come my way is that um, there was a little support and in some instances, no support given to the traditional groups. What do you think about it? Do these traditional groups make money throughout the year? No. These traditional groups are part of a bigger picture. We are promoting Dominica's carnival as a product. We are telling people, come to Dominica. We need the traditional groups, so we have to invest in them, make sure they look good, make sure they are comfortable, and enable them to come out in large numbers, because that is the attraction people are looking for when they come to Dominica's carnival. It is not only about the Lacuna and the Bangalore. The traditional bands are just as important, probably even more of an important element in the carnival production. I endorse your sentiments 100 percent in terms of DG Cell's contribution to Carnival 2023. DG Cell and DG Cell's contribution to Mass Dominic 2023. Of course, you know, as you know, what is DG Cell always contributes to the social life of Dominica. And again, DG Cell came on board in a big way. We supported Mega Monday. I mean, Mega Monday was amazing yesterday. We, we brought the support to the Hysteria Band. We also brought support to Fantasy Tribe. We supported Creole Hat Peters Well Wadix. That, that, that portrayed that deep cultural aspect of Dominica's animal and history that we should all be aware of. We supported a number of schools 
schools all the way in West Rafa with their little pageants. You know, we also supported some of the other activities like Pink Week on uh, that new carnival. And of course, to ensure that Dominica's carnival comes out great in, in a big way as we're seeing today. Okay, I really. Curtis, any questions from Abba? Okay, so we really hope that you can be, you can continue to enjoy your carnival and stay peaceful. Are you looking for any dancer in particular? <laughs> well, I joined. Oh, will they know where you are? <laughs> you will, you know where I am. <laughs> enjoy carnival, Mava Williams, Curtis, and this is a very serious con um, concern by Mava, where the traditional aspect is lacking. Very little sensei, very little susuel sui, and even the traditional aspect of the juve was lacking. Are we sacrificing the contemporary for the traditional, when it's the traditional that makes us unique? Everywhere else is flooded with the contemporary. We happen to be fortunate that we have the both, the traditional and the contemporary. That's why our mass is different. But according to one who has been at the helm for several years at the DFC, and a major concern is lack of appreciation, and like she said, lack of resources for the traditional bands. Well, well what it's, um, we, we've seen it, we've seen it this year. We hope it's not deliberate. I don't think it's deliberate because the DFC said that they were going to place emphasis on the traditional. I think it's, it may have failed, it may have not have been what, what they expected. But we hope that it's not a deliberate move to eliminate the traditional. That I don't think that is possible. I don't think that should be the case. We will have to find out from them what exactly the position is. Well, um, let us hope that if we get the opportunity to speak to Mr. Piper sometime later, we can ask him. Yes, um, Mr. Piper has uh, been passing our area. I'm sure we will get an opportunity tonight to speak to him on that matter. What is um, very important, Nicholas, the traditional is what connects us with our ancestors. Uh, the sensei costume, it was transported from the uh, African continent into the Caribbean, into Dominica. The uh, Bwabwa, what you call the stilt walkers. Another uh, particular part of our, of, our, of our culture which was uh, transported down with our ancestors. We actually giving some time, but are we putting the necessary resources? Are we giving the bands, the Labocabri bands, the necessary resources, or are they working on their own? If they are working on their own, we need to do something about that. Adequate sometimes, you need to budget. Because I have that feeling, and I mean, that we concentrate so much on the festival that we have sort of put aside the carnival for the private citizens to do their own thing. Now, if it is for our celebration to enjoy ourselves, I have no problem. But if we want to invite visitors, we have to give them what makes us unique, what makes us different. We have to give them a balance. We cannot only give them what they are accustomed with in Rio and Trinidad and Antigua and the Barbados. We must give them a good dose of what makes us different because Dominica is truly different. We are Creole. We must emphasize seriously on pres preservation of the traditional. Well, what exam? You have you have been in that area, working in that area. I'm sure your views are views that some people will understand, and uh, something will be done to rectify that position, that, that situation. But obviously. We cannot just allow the traditional to just go away. Um, this year I, in particular, I have a love for Puyo music. I, it belongs to us. It is 30 something years. Calypso is something that has been with us from the slave plantations. Yes, we allowed so much effort into one genre while we allow another one to suffer. Calypso suffered this year. I not sure if you follow the tents with minimal numbers. And I mean, this doesn't all go well for Calypso. There is a, a, a sort of tribal warfare with the lyrical content of some of the lyrics. And we have no, absolutely no problem with the nasty business bouillon. 
I will never play a nasty business bouillon. And that is what it is. If I am at any event and you request a nasty business bouillon, I will walk out. But we place so much emphasis on the bouillon, including artists that sing nasty bouillon, while the Calypso suffers get his mafia. Yes, well, Wadex, your views, certainly, your views, I, I understand, as I said before, and uh, there are issues that really have to be dealt with. And uh, I know they're planning a sort of post-mortem. They do that every year. Let's hope that this matters, these issues will be raised. When, you, when, when you say post-mortem, what are you referring to? A press conference? A review, a review of a, the kind of Are you talking about a press conference no. or a post-mortem where every single Dominican can participate? Well, let's see how they organize it this year. My brother, I know can, it's on the cards. Carnival is not a committee thing. Carnival is a people's thing. It's an emancipation of the people. Let's take in some music from the upcoming band. This is the Amnesia Band, and this is the band from the, as a matter of fact, man and um, controlled and the inception of this band at the bus, at the helm of this band, is the Paul Rep for the Rosso Central Constituency, the wife of the Honorable Prime Minister, Melissa Skerritt. Yes, um, that's her band, that's the Amnesia and uh, let's, let's see what they're bringing through, let's see what they're bringing through. I, you, I heard the voice of Esa Bantan. A while ago, so Esa Banton is uh, the lead vocalist of this particular uh, orchestration. But once again, uh, just approaching us, we've seen a kind of dark pink uh, outfit. I uh, would expect several dimensions of this band. But the first section as they pass us by, you have seen the men in pink and white boxers. And the ladies once again, with their vital statistics on showcase, the beach Sand okay. is in the city as the ladies have really been uh, showcasing what God has blessed them with. A lovely pink. I love that uh, two shades or three shades of pink. A nice light pink, a darker one. And here is this pink young lady in a lovely pink and shimmering silver. And she's showing you, Curtis, she's actually showing you her posterior. I'm not sure if you're looking, Curtis. She's I was, actually I was concentrating for you. on Ambassador Martin Charles, Dominica's <laughs> ambassador in China. So you, he's also in this man. You didn't see, you didn't see the lady. Okay, Amnesia music from Amnesia and Esabata.
Yeah, this is DBS Radio, live in the streets of Rosso. The Amnesia Band, passing through. Amnesia. We are live in the capital city and we are with the wife of the Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of Dominica and the Paul Rep for the Rosso Central Constituency, Mrs. Melissa Skerritt, Honorable. Good afternoon to you, Mrs. Skerritt. Good afternoon to you, Mrs. Skerritt. How are you? I am doing fine and good afternoon to all your listeners today. This is DBS Radio Live. And how are you have been enjoying Master Mix so far? I'm having a fabulous time. No complaints. We've been on the road from since 11 o'clock. It's been pure mass, pure excitement, fun, very safe in Amnesia Band. That's the band that I am in because that is my band. And all my patrons are having a really good time. How difficult was it to get members to join? Or do you have your team of members normally already registered? We usually have a loyalty crew, so they stay true to the band every year. Uh, we attract a lot of diasporans, specifically uh, masqueraders from Guadeloupe and Martinique. But we also had quite a bit this time from the US as well as the UK. They call us the international band actually because we have a lot of diasporans and foreigners who travel to Dominica just to play mass with Amnesia. So we had no problems at all, of course, we are mixed with the locals as well because they are very well aware of the quality that we produce in our costumes, in the experience that we put on the road, as well as the artists. We have top-notch artists. So it was not difficult for us at all. In fact, we were sold out and um, people were still trying to buy costumes up until today and we could not fulfill it. In terms of the different variations, we, are, we observe several colors. What is the theme of your band this year? The theme is called Out There. It is to depict the fact that we have been locked up for COVID. And now, as we say, we are outside. We are out there. So as Amnesia says, forget your worries and live life. OK, Curtis, any questions? Can, for the first lady? can, can you all win this year? Of course. I think we have the best band on the road. We have a lot of different props that the other bands do not have. We have um, the fire blower who sits on top of the truck and goes fire throughout the, the duration of the band. We have the traditional mass incorporated as we have the senses. Um, we also had, if you notice, I actually had two bands on the road. So I had a Monday band which was called Crazy Mess and we had the pink foam on the road. We had a water truck. Everybody 
everybody is in check and they are okay. We want to wish you all the best. Continue enjoying it. Thank you. All the best. Okay, all the best to you. Thank you. And God bless. Yes, good is Amnesia Desert from uh, the Honorable Paul Rep for the Rose Central Constituency, Honorable Melissa Skerritt, the wife of the Honorable Prime Minister. And like she said, it's her band. And um, she actually explained to us the various dimensions of the band. With Esso Banton at the helm, let's take in some more music from Amnesia. And five men, we need help, 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 SOS, please, send help. You heard it, Dennis, 10, 10,000 women and five men, they asking for men to join this band. What is, what a wonderful carnival 2023. We want that. And this is the Amnesia Carnival Band. Our theme is out there, and we are happy to celebrate Mas Alawi. This year, we have circumvented all challenges. We can circumvent everything, and Amnesia is out there in full force, celebrating Mas Alawi in 2023. We have come out in vibrant colors. We have 600 patrons, and we intend to take Carnival to a higher level. We thank you, Malik, for all you have done for Carnival. And we, Amnesia, want to bring Carnival further for Dominica. Thank you very much, my dear. And we hope that you continue to enjoy yourself. Yes, thank you, Ma Wadix. And all our listening patrons, all our listening viewers over Radio Land, TBS over Radio, 
Hey, oh, for TBS Radio, yes. Yes, 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 indeed. We are happy to bring to you Amnesia Carnival 2023. Our theme this year is Out There. We dare you to celebrate this year. We dare you to come out in large numbers. We dare you to forget about all your worries and live life. Nesty, and may God bless you. Thank you, Wadix, and continue to make culture a memory that we'll never forget. Thank you very much, Miss Nesty, and she is one of the spokespersons for the Amnesia Band. More music from Amnesia. What's up, what's up, what's up, Peter Bros? What's up, Peter Bros? This is the Amnesia Band. Well, I, I must say it's nice to be on DBS. <laughs> it's nice to be on the nation station. DBS Radio. What is, what, what is the name of this band? Amnesia. That's a band for your pal rep. Oh, you mean? Melissa. My pal rep. Your pal rep. 
beautiful ladies were they? Yes. Oh, According to Didi, 1,000 women to five men. Oh, yeah. I, I, yes. Didi is very correct, of course. Nice weather. Yes. The setting for a real last slap business. <laughs> what are your observations of the feminine gender, Peter? Oh, my goodness. Apparently, what is the ladies have been going to the gym. Yes. Because they look a little fitter this year. Than two years ago. A little more tone. Than three years ago. More definition. Yes. And everything is on parade. Yes. <laughs> Every single thing. And I mean, it's good to see. Yes, of course. The thing is, I don't need meat. So I'm just <laughs> looking at the menu. Well, tomorrow is Ash Wednesday. <laughs> so you're vegetarian. Oh, yes. I'm just looking at the menu. I don't eat meat. <laughs> so it doesn't trouble you? Not at all. Not well, at all. Well, you're not like Kedis. Kedis not looking. Kedis well, decide. It even though language, he's, though he's looking in one direction. He's not looking. <laughs> <laughs> but Peter Bros, Esa Bantan, really bringing down the house. Oh, as usual. As usual. Esa is always in form on it. Overall, what are your observations of Carnival 2023, Peter? Well, Wadix, to be honest, if you I just came down. I had a very good juve. We had a nice vibe at Davos. And uh, today, Tuesday, I just took that time to rest. I, I came down now, and it's still when the last 10 o'clock. Oh, yeah. And swinging starts supposed to be on the road. Yes, they passed us earlier. As a matter of fact, they actually, the starting point is the corner of Independence Street oh, yeah, and I got, um, I got Kennedy look Avenue. Stars. I'm going to look so for So I can tell you Swing Stars is on the road. I can confirm I'm that. I'm going to look for Stars. For my fact, I have a diaspora. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not alone? I'm not alone. And you're telling everybody I you're not alone? I message. When you see me by diaspora, pass me straight. <laughs> <laughs> is that an indication of the diaspora? No, 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 no. That's no. a local. That's. <laughs> <laughs> but Peter, once again, it's good to see the faces of the Dominicans really enjoying the return of Carnival after two years. Yes. And we heard from the police officers so far so peaceful. Far, yeah, I heard that on the radio myself. And um, this is wonderful. We have been behaving. We have adhered to the no nonsense acting Zero deputy, tolerance. acting deputy chief. Yes. Let's give him a, a hello because he's a no nonsense man. Oh, that is, um, is it Corbett? No, no, um, Valerie. Va oh, Valerie, my they friend. Two Valerie. They are two acting deputies. Two but you, acting. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you know it is. <laughs> but this man, when he when he speak, yeah, yeah, yeah. He like the guy that used to speak during the time of Ada, um, Saddam Hussein. <laughs> there was a bad man. <laughs> you remember him? Saddam yes, Hussein yes, fought yes, it yes, down, yes, but yes. he decided they're still winning. That's right. Yes. <laughs> but this man, he warned us. But, 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 what if, I guess we'll talk about his weaknesses sometime after Canada. Yes. Because yesterday I was in town, and it was, the road, the streets were very empty. Especially between 11 and let's say 4.30. That's right. And uh, so we myself and Curtis, that. myself and Curtis was actually, you know, speaking about it and what should be done, what could be done. Because we know there's always a lull. Yes. But yes. then for some reason yesterday... Uh, it was extended. Yes, it was extended. Yeah. And something needs to be done about it because you cannot invite people. And um, five hours, no activity in the city. Something is wrong. I mean, people would pay several thousand dollars to come down to Dominica. And tickets are very expensive. Extremely expensive since that Ukraine war. Well, that's the excuse though. Well, yes, you know, they're controlling everything. Even back her neck that go up. <laughs> so, so what is? Our uh, box is now one dollar. No, dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. And anything in it is two fifty, an extra dollar. Yes. What is? I think we should push the positive. Yes. And the positive is people look happy, peaceful, and happy. Peaceful. The band seem to be very organized. Yes. I notice an ambulance. Adam, this is the first time we have been noticing an ambulance in the road, exactly. and it is for anyone who is over, you know, in a bag, a bag they call colic worm. Yeah, over consumption. Over consumption, you call that colic worm. Nobody's good. And in the event there is any, you know, unforeseen circumstances, the ambulance is on the route. The bars 
and, and, and the buzz in the band is very organized too. Also, I see quite a bit of business taking place yes, on the perimeter. Economic activities. Yes, economic activity. I hope that quite a bit of the ordinary people we're yeah, able to go to the we're able to go to the bank tomorrow. Credit union too. And the credit union to put some of what they have earned yes. over the weekend. But the most important thing, a peaceful carnival so far. Peaceful, very peaceful. And For a matter of fact, Alex, I make I made ten rounds to get a parking spot. So that's, everywhere. That's an indication, yes, that the city is overloaded. Bubbly. The city is overloaded, which is good. So where's the diaspora, Peter? How where's long it? you gonna be there for? We're going to be there until 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 Oh now. well, 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 I pass it. Curtis, when I pass it. Curtis as a married man, you know, when Curtis say we done, we done. Well, yes. And Curtis have a serious shirt on his head. Eh? Curtis have the caravan shirt. <laughs> I understood that he said he went to the honeymoon. <laughs> that, that's a serious long sleeve. That's a long sleeve. That is carried in the band. The PM kind of. All of a sudden, I, I suspect you are part of the team. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Only honorable so. Roosevelt's carried. Where's this kind of shirt? Yeah, 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 yeah. Silk. <laughs> This is expensive $1,000 shirt. Oh yeah, easily. <laughs> easily, bros. <laughs> well, the jeans is about, about $500. The jeans? Yes. The visor? No? No. Uh, Ordinary? It's not brand we can, um, it's not the kind of brand we're familiar with. <laughs> That's why he paid so much. Yes, but the, um, the shirt is easily about $1,500. Yes, yeah, it looked like that. It looked like I mean, let's have to do. Uh, well, look at that. Look at that. Consume. That's right. Yes. That is consumption power. That's why they have the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> why? I more feel the ambulance is for the men. <laughs> I don't want it. Yeah. Something I noticed. Yeah. The bands, let's say, a hundred women, about ten men. No, but we saw that, you know. We have average. We average. So what? What do you think is the problem? Well, either. Well, the thing about it, if you watch, most of the men are dying quickly these days, you know. And um. The men seem to be waiting for when it gets dark to come out. For some reason, the men are not as brave. But I want to warn the men. You know uh, there are cameras everywhere. Yes. <laughs> now, <laughs> that is a warning, you know. Those days, if you know you want to jump, even if it's after dark, camera can take you. Easily. So I suspect Curtis. Well, that not for No, that's not for Curtis. That's not for Curtis. That's not for Curtis. Best you jump up in the day. No, that's not for People Curtis. People say he's a friend. Yes, so if night take you, it's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> you still have your friend or your cousin. <laughs> but that thing there where you want to come out at 748, somebody will pick you up. Somebody will pick you up, my brother. So if at, let's say, 2.43 o'clock, you'll be in signal with a friend. Nobody cannot blame Nobody you. Nobody will take that seriously. If you say it's your cousin, get this, from Monjon. If you tell your wife you're with your cousin and if you jump in up 2.40, she will take that like it's nothing. But 8, eight o'clock in the night is a different thing. No, no, I mean, I, I'm not going to tell a lie. I mean, this is my cousin, this is my cousin. Anyway, I gave him an invitation if Stasha, our friend Prosper, oh my God. would ask him to come on the truck. He said no. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to ask him again. I want to ask him again. Well, it's getting it get later. Last lap. So answer that question now. Last lap. If the sexy Stasha from Signal Band would ask you to come and take a bump on the truck tonight, would you agree? I, I will think about it. Ah! Oh, it, it, it turned in, it turned in. What is it turned in? It turned in. Ah! <laughs> and, and, and make no mistake, eh? this is Peter Pross <laughs> and this on is TBS Radio. Not no what mistake. you're thinking. Eh? Not, no mistake with that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I'm on DBS Radio. <laughs> We've crossed with what it's not get his That's you. right. So, Curtis, I suspect by 7.30, I'll get the answer I'm looking for. Yes. <laughs> well, I suspect we will not get the answer. So, what do you do the first, Peter? Because you are close um, to the uh, management. You, you mean? The bring, management of Stasha. You are close to the management of Stasha. Yes, yes. Very, very close. Very close, yes. Well, that looked like a special Hi, hi, hi. Can you have a few words if you come? Come a while. Hi. 
Hi, how are you? How are you? How are you? This is DBS Radio. How are you? I'm good. And um, you seem to be uh, a troop. Yes, that's Juicy Girls. Oh, oh yeah. Juicy. Oh, yeah. Yes. Which type of Juicy? The soft drink or the other juice? Juicy. Only one way to find out. Oh, oh. And that is one, that is one, that is one, that is one. Oh, oh, oh. Juice, juice, juice. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you something from what I've seen. That's yes. a lot of juice. Yes, that's a lot of juice. That's an overload, Kiddies. You know you got a, a pink grapefruit. <laughs> no, I don't think it's grapefruit. <laughs> but Kiddies, um, Kiddies love juice. Kiddies but love a lot of juice. Am of, I right, Kiddies? Of late, of late, I, I find Kiddies don't like anything. No, no, no. <laughs> Remember, listen to me. Kiddies has graduated, my brother. With honors. With honors. Yes. And he no longer spends the amount of time he used to spend at DBS. At DBS. All right, good. He has to go home and it is lunch, go and, home and it is and dinner. And if you notice, Curtis is putting on some weight like myself. Like us. So that like means us. His, his lunch, his dinner is on time. Curtis is dressing differently That's now. That's right. That bread and quenchy business. Curtis is in a different league now. Yes, 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 yes. Imagine Carnival Tuesday is with a, lo a white long sleeve. <laughs> appearing to be the type the honorable PM does wear. Long sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you can see that man on a different, different level now. So we have to respect him. Oh, yes, I, yes, yes. I am not calling him as much as I used to. No, no, no. Because now is a different time. That is the only man I know walking in in his reception start to bump. Yes, yes. The, the only man, that's the only man I know. That's the only man I know oh. during his marriage. That's who? You know that's that. Hey, the dice. Dice. That dice. <laughs> dice is with a mask. No, the person coming to me. I say, but I know I have Malay, but not today. I'm on DBS. <laughs> when you're on DBS, you have to be a certain way. Yes. Yes, the king, yes. what's up, my brother? We're good, we're good, we're good. We're enjoying the rest of the thing. Of we course. Everything bless up. Yes, sir. No, before before you go, I know no you run, don't no run, no I, run. No, I, after all, how was when the how was the season? How was the season? I, I have to run, although I doesn't. No, how was the season for you and the mask? It's beautiful. That's right. It is beautiful. You know the thing is, I always just say where Calypso is concerned, is that about crown to all all the time. Is about what we bring out. Man. That's right. That's right. And, um, I know you would want to officially, okay. as if I'm not yet myself. But are you hearing me, bros? You, are you hearing? Okay, so check in, in for us. Yeah, yeah. No, I on. I know I on for sure. Okay, so, so nice. I know. We just want to give you the chance to congratulate. To, no, just congratulate the king at least. Congratulate the oh, king. Yes, yes, yes. Congratulate to the young youth man. You know, I, I'm, I'm coming into the thing. It's beautiful that because one of them times when I start off as the young man in the thing, people wasn't really watching it like this. To, to see it like that and Shanice and all of them doing that and Miss. Sorry for even no even congratulating because I was a little disappointed in a little form, but. Really and truly, you have to take it how it comes. Yes. Big up yourself. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Big up yourself. I, you know, that's holy culture. You know what I'm saying? Respect King Nice. Okay, I'm not sure what is wrong. If no, something needs to be uh, taking place with this mic. Check. Make Din. Make Din check it, Curtis. But Prosper, I mean, a humble King Nice in defeat. He was heading for his 10th, but unfortunately, um, Trilogy had other ideas. But I suspect what it's. A few bouillon artists is going to come across. Well, which would be good. Which would be good in terms of their fan base. Because that $20,000 business there. This is no, it's 20 or 25 It went up, huh? Observe, uh, not observer. I mean, Senator tell me it used to be 25 That is before COVID. Wow. I know it was 20 So, so 20, 25 grand for two songs. I think it's a, it's a good payday. In one night. Yes, Peter Bros. In one night, that's a good period, but a humble thing. Looking, nice. What is it looking like? I, all you draft me? Well, yes. <laughs> because <laughs> you're diaspora, you're waiting for your diaspora. Don't worry, man. I just have to send a signal for one. That's it. So she's in, she in the area? She, she around. She around. She's in town. Okay. And you know my base, so she may be in my base. Um, Davos. Davos. Well, that used to be my base. <laughs> it's no longer your base. <laughs> <laughs> so if somebody <laughs> going there and look for me today, they catch. <laughs> so for today, it's such a miss. <laughs> but let's uh, see if we can have a word with Daryl Tit. Okay, let's see if we can have a, a word with Daryl Tit. Daryl, as usual, DBS Radio, you oh, can't yes. run from us, your overall impressions. This is DBS Radio. Yes. Of course, of course. Make no mistake. 
This is the radio. Yeah, yeah, this is the radio. The nation station. Yes. Ask, ask the person with the mic which station is this. This is the nation station DBS radio. Yes, and we're doing it in a camaraderie style. No, that's a that's a reset. <laughs> Let's use the word, please. That we using the right word. Reset. This reset. Is a reset. This is a reset. <laughs> Not recessive. Not recess. It's a reset. This is really Carnival Tuesday. <laughs> it is really, really Carnival Tuesday. But I really see I've been seeing you walking around doing your own little thing. What's your, your observation so far? Monday, Tuesday. No, I don't know about Monday. I was not in town on Monday. I stayed home all day Monday and today I just decided, you know what? Before Ash Wednesday I get up and say, boy, I should have gone to town. Let me take a little walk in town with the family and we did that and we have been walking around since afternoon. And so far it looks so good. The costumes are very, very nice. Uh, the ladies are in their costume. And everybody seems to be, you know, enjoying themselves. After a two-year break, it's very good to be back on the streets of Roseau. And so far, we heard from the police officers, um, no incidents in the capital city, which is excellent. Let us keep it that way. What time do we end? 10 o'clock? Yes, Normally 10. 10. And if we behave, we might get a little 5 past 10. Okay, well, let's hope. Remember, there is work tomorrow, so it's not a holiday. So people, it's 6 o'clock. People have to start bracing themselves. The only observation is that I have not heard one calypso in town. Um, yes, there is some calypso um, on th with Thunderbirds. And, and there is swinging stars on the road. And there is so also swinging stars so on the road. A few calypsos, yes. Swinging stars is on the road and also old time sake. Oh, okay. All right. So they should be on the other end of the uh, perimeter. Well, I have seen the, the, the different bands. I have identified Amnesia. I have identified Hysteria. There are two others. One, yeah, is, Paul, one is false. Signal, but I cannot tell you which is which yet. But I, I think so far, so good. People are really out enjoying themselves. There are a number of my schoolmates who are overseas I've seen in town today. There are a number of Dominicans I've seen return home. And there are a number of identifiable foreigners. Yes. <laughs> yes. And that's good. That really sounded like a pal rap those days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In waiting. Something is in American In waiting, no, yes. No, 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 no. no. You prefer, you'll, you'll stick to GIS. You'll stick to GIS. Let's see for how long. <laughs> Daryl, continue to enjoy Carnival and stay safe, my brother, you and your family. Thank you, thank you, my friend. You know, you, you, you might never know where, where else, man. Okay, if you notice his cap, he's, he's planning a CNN cap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Adver planning a CNN. I just want to confirm one thing. This yeah. is DBS Radio. Again, this, this is, is the nation station, yes. DBS Radio. Yes, this is DBS Radio. Is going here? Um, it's a reset, it's a reset. <laughs> <laughs> this is the reset. This is a reset, Daryl. I, I like this. It's reset. carnival. This is the reset. Prosper from Kyrie on DBS. Case closed. Case closed. <laughs> you also from both. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Rainbow colors. Rainbow colors. <laughs> yes. Okay, we have Mr. Piper with us. Oh, good afternoon. Once again. Okay, this is coming. But once again, Peter Pross, everything seems to be peaceful. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And this is uh, a wonderful, wonderful. Uh, season to be merry compared uh, to sunday while it's the weather have held up yes and this is good and um, i suspect it may hold up for the rest of the yes for the rest of the time no, no, let's go man let, let, let's go okay pros so we'll see you later with your diasporan yeah, I'll pass and check you. okay you'll pass so we can get a glimpse of her face oh, yeah. okay but we're getting set to once again have another chit chat with mr colin piper the boss the one responsible the one in charge of uh, the carnival. Mr. Colin Piper, once again, good evening to you. Good evening, my next evening to uh, all the listeners on DBS. Pleasure to be here. And we are having you this time under better circumstances, less uh, uh, noise, so we can get a full length interview. No problem. Overall impressions, um, because I think we, did, we had an issue sometime last evening that it wasn't recorded oh, so we can get a full interview now overall impressions that's before we go into mass monday and tuesday but before that well you know i put on my tourism hat and what we want is people coming into the country and i've seen a lot of people a lot of people that i went to school with you know haven't seen in a while you know and so i think we have accomplished certain things in that regard right you know Planes were filled coming in, we all heard the cries. So a lot of people who wanted to come to Dominica came in and we're happy they could be here to be part of this. I think um, Carnival for them is a lot of things. This, the road, is one element of it. The new and emerging part of Carnival for them is the FETs before. 
a lot of it before. A lot of people went to um, to FETs and so private sector organizers, promoters, seems like they at least had a good carnival, you know, and then the other aspect is the shows. The Queen show, the Calypso show, those um, shows that you, you, you would typically have heard of. So I think that um, people came, had three elements of carnival. They had the fets from before, they had the shows to go to, and they had the road to come to as well. In terms of your objectives, you would have um, set your objectives for this in particular, the retaining year, how close are you to re actually um, gauging your objectives? Well, you know, unfortunately we won't know until maybe the end of the month, uh, second week in March. We always look into better the visitor arrivals from the previous carnival. So we take it from the week before, uh, Monday or Sunday, and we look at the numbers. So we'll look at that to see how we did. The other thing that we cannot gauge is the economic transaction, because we don't know, right? Uh, and it's not a case where all hotel rooms have to be filled. It's a case where beverages have to leave the shelf, um, because that's what Carnival, to a large extent, is about. You know, so the, um, the food, the food and beverage, F&B, you know, that's a big part of, of, of uh, the success of Carnival and especially for the private sector. Is there a way, Mr. Piper, of um, engaging that through, let's say, even the same private sector, some of the business uh, owners we know who sell um, meat products, we know who sell yeah, drinks. We, uh, can we do surveys with them? We go to them, we ask them, but nobody wants to divulge. But um, Because of tax purposes, I would imagine? Not, no, not, not really, just because... Um, they don't necessarily want their competition knowing what they're doing, right? But, you know, the IRD can give us a, because people must play that. Mm -hmm. So you take it, you know, and then, you know, we know Christmas is the big one. And then we know um, Independence and Carnival are close second, close third. So we know um, economic activities are happening. We uh, know that's happening. Okay, yeah. Monday, last night, yesterday, Juve until uh, last night. Juve was, I mean, phenomenal, you know. And that is the new, well, uh, I should say, there's two parts to Juve. One part is the traditional coming out. And that, unfortunately, is, never performs as well as the other. The 4 to 7 never performs as well as the 7 to 10, when the electronic bands come out. And I mean, you, you would have seen a picture that on the bayfront that has gone viral, right? And that is what is happening for Juve. Um, and then what happens is, you know, that 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 those revelers then go home to go to sleep but we need them to come out for the parade so th again we find that the parade suffers and then we have the the lull where people just take a break you know and we we've, we've tried a couple things um two years ago we had um, um a, a chill zone where we had serenade and stars playing um, but then people are still on the route they don't want to leave the route in case something comes so we just have to continue to, you know, and we, we open to all, all suggestions because we have a lot of people who have done this, you know, and who have ideas. So we open to suggestions for what they think might, might work. I've heard, you know, around this time for the parade, shorten the route. I've heard, you know, so many different things. But we have to look at it because at the end of the day, we have the revelers, those participating, but we also have the onlookers. Right, those who come to stand on the side and look at the spectacle. And we cannot forget that part of Carnival. That is a part that we have to, between ourselves and cultural division, we have to come up with a formula that um, gets people on the road during the parades. I mean, the schools, you know, we always have to big up the schools for coming out and doing what they do. The numbers wasn't, weren't so large this time, but the quality, the, the, the colors were there, you know, and we need to get a few more. Um, so that we can provide uh, more of a spectacle, more of a parade for those who want to. A any questions that. from your end, Curtis? Well, I just wanted to find out from Mr. Piper his overall assessment on Carnival 2023. Overall assessment. Well, you know, um, I I'm pleased because I, again, I look at happiness, right? <laughs> and endless happiness going on, you know, around the place. Between the people walking around and just happy to be around. Happy to be jumping up in the streets, the vendors looking happy themselves. So, you know, this is a big part of what we do, right? Events. You know, Caribbean people travel for events. Diaspora travel for events. And if they had a good time this time, they'll come back. And, you know, it used to be 
you come down once a year for Creole or for Carnival. Now, I'm seeing the same people coming down for both. So people are making it. They, they, they're putting it in their plans to come back home. And the next thing we want them to do is not only come down by themselves, but bring the party. Bring Absolutely. someone else. A few bring concerns, somebody from a different country as well. A, a, a few concerns, um, and one is to do with the traditional aspect. Yes. I didn't notice quite a bit of that, both yesterday and today. Yes, I think that What do you think accounted of, for that? Well, you know, um, it's not for lack of trying, because we reach out to the groups. We even offer assistance in certain instances. But it seems like what's going on in the village takes precedence. And we're unable to get them to come down for the national parade. We got a few. We had the darkies, we had the sensei come in. But we would like to get more of all the, especially the, um, those in the community. Uh, because that's a big part of our original carnival. That's what makes us different. So we cannot lose that. And that's why I say I had to talk to Wilson and figure out what we can do whether we have to come up with a group of 20 young people in each community, train them, and let them know that they, they must come out on the road for Carnival Monday. So if the elders in the community cannot do that, at least we will have those people come out. Because we have to. That element of Carnival has to. In, in terms of incentives, Mr. Piper, is there any level of financial well, incentives? We support. we support. They tell us what they need, and we support. If they need for lapo, if they need um, drums, we get them drums. For darkies, if they need you know, tar and whatnot and whatnot, we give them that. You know, if others need something, we will try to assist. But what I don't like is we promise the assistance, they come for it, and then in certain instances they don't show up. Now, are we working directly with the groups or with are we the working groups. with the... Directly um, with the groups and with the improvement communities, yes. the carnival communities. We know the people who are in charge of the groups in each of the communities, mm -hmm. and we speak with them. Because I, 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 it's my belief that if you maybe go through the people the organizing committees of these various areas it may work better that is what we've given them do. we've given them an allocatement uh financial financial and time to be in the city and time to be back in the space to do their own thing that is what we try to do and um you know it's just not working so you know the definition of madness is to keep doing the same thing and expect different results so we have to twist it up a bit and any ideas that people have even those in the communities, if there's a reason why they're not coming to the national parade on Monday to show the tradition of Dominica, I would like to know so we can take it to the, to the higher-ups and we can, we can organize. Yeah, because there's also the, um, let's say, the PAL reps who possibly could assist in those various areas yes. to, you know, actually spend a year, a year talking to the people. Yeah. Discussing with them, it is not taking them from their comfort zone, but it's just take it to the city and back. Yeah, exactly. For, for a, a little time. time. Yes. Um, in terms of the Calypso, yeah. we know of the opening, the national opening, and um, right after the national opening, we are seeing and observing several small openings, which takes off from, let's say, the Calypso. Is there a solution to this, or are we going to continue on the same course? Well, um, First of all, we try not to call them openings because there's only one opening of carnival in the city. But we do acknowledge that villages get um, economic activity by doing those events. So what we're trying to do is have a series, five or so carnivals on weekends between the opening leading up to. And we try to schedule that appropriately so that we can invite people and we can move people from Posse to St. Joe and from St. Joe to Posse and then to Grand Bay. So the local economy can benefit. Which I do not have any problem with. Yeah. But why um, don't try it on the Friday and the Sunday of, let's say, the quarters and the semis well, we'll have uh, to, to, look to, to leave the opportunity for, let's say, I mean, important events like the semis because a free event in somewhere like St. Joe or Grand Bay is the same set of people that will be in the area that would normally come to the Calypso. We'll have to look at that. Yes, we'll have to look so, at that, yeah. because I mean, two, the opening yeah. of, on a Friday, it's a free event. Yeah. It can attract the same set of people Friday afternoon to whatever time, as long as it is planned properly, or even the Sunday afternoon. Yeah, so we'll have to look at that. Um, in terms of on the road now, Mr. Piper, does your organization, DFCDDA, actually uh, um, put or finance any of the bands on the road? Yes, through the ministry, uh, we're financing some of the um, bands, especially those who have large expense for the 
trucks and the musical equipment and the performers. Because to a certain extent, we want performers on the road, right? So where there is a burden, especially for that, we've looked into assisting that um, on the road um, this year. And we'll continue to do that. We look, we especially for Juve, for the traditional ma um, bands like the Lapo and so on, we provide them with things that they need for their drums and those sorts of things. So yes, we do. And then of course, at the end of it all, prize money goes back to those who who are fortunate enough to win some of the okay. competitions. No, it was, I was just basically referring to the electronic bands and even, um, let's say, the musical bands. Well, we work with the, the band organizers, as in the costume band organizers, who then have come to us indicating that they need assistance to hire the bands. So specifically, we are making an allocation for that. Now, uh, our hope is that I see bands on the road, so they must be getting paid somehow. So, but that is what we are, are doing for us. Uh, how, how, how close are you with the Calypso Association? Close enough. Close uh, enough to the point where I wonder um, there should be more happening. Okay, and when you say more happening, what do you really mean? For example, Swinging Stars is on the road. Uh -huh. You know, and um, there should be some Calypsonians, um, you know, on that truck so that there can be more Calypso at least from three or four o'clock when Swinging Stars came out. Um, if there's one truck that they can be on that knows all their, that knows all their um, music is swinging stars. Yes. So stars came out from four o'clock. Let's hope. I mean, I, I I heard a couple of the um, calypsos. Let's hope more and more of the calypsonians will will um, will come out. And, and I think that is a thing that the calypso association and swinging stars uh, and the mass camp and stardom um, can organize. And one of the one of the reasons I ask you that, in as much. Um, the organization is responsible for carnival. If, let's say, they would approach you, the association would approach you, let's say, to do it in collaboration. Yes. Um, let's say, do I have at this, uh, the fanatic, we know fanatic also play Calypso. For Serenade, yeah. also play Calypso. They provide certain, let's say, the truck, you provide the generator, exactly. you will collaborate. Exactly. Which would ensure yeah. even the other Calypsonians, yeah. because what you may find, um, prevalence may be given to Stardom Calypsonians. Yeah. And um, there may be other Calypsonians from Mascam that may also yeah. have the same uh, yeah. potential of yeah. being road match winners. Yeah. But the Calypso Association has not um, reached out to you to that, to that extent. Not, not for getting Calypso on the road and with a proposal like that. And we'd be happy to sit down with them. We established a little better and tighter relationship with the Calypso Association this year where we said to them that we want to work with them um, through Carnival and beyond Carnival, you know, so that we, run, we really want to see um, more from Calypso, you know, there can be Calypso jazz, there can be, you know, so there are things that we're willing to do with them to help um, support them. We strongly encourage them, you know, to look at who they put in, in front of the camera and on camera and on TV in terms of the younger generation, because what was happening was there seemed to be this generation gap and so I'm very pleased I mean that the youngsters won the um, the title and that maybe he can you know now he can do two sets in his performance he can do a Calypso set and he can do a Boyo set and you'll see that will now start to bring a set of younger people towards the um, you know towards the art form so we're pleased about that okay two things two things finally would you uh, possibly even add to the Calypso Prize because some people may think that um, a large chunk is going to the Queen Show from the DDA DFC ends and um, very little possibly going to the Calypso. Let's say the Calypso uh, King or Monarch would get 25,000, DDA add another 10 to make it 35 which would be more, much more attractive and um, even in collaborating with the road match, the song most played, let's say the Calypso most played and let's say the Buyo most played. Yeah, we'll have to look at those things, you know, I, I can't commit the cash, you know, because you have to give to get, so I want to know what I'm getting if I'm giving, you know, but that these are obviously things that we can um, discuss. I mean, the Queen show, we have an obligation because it's our show, we're organizing it, right? I mean, the Calypso Association doesn't show me their books, so I don't know what is happening. But by the same token, in the spirit of partnership and collaboration, all these things are open for discussion.
All these things are open for discussion. And these are some of the things I mentioned to the Calypso Association. Look, we have to do ads. You have Calypsonians. Maybe you come and do some ads for DDA over the year. And, um, and, and it's, a con it's a contra. So you, you give of the, the voice of the Calypsonian to help us out with the ad for whatever it is, Tourism Awareness Month or whatever. And we now, we, we, we do something for you in return because um, we want to continue to market Calypso as a part of Carnival because Carnival is a big part of our destination marketing as well. You know, so that's one thing. Then the other thing about the, um, the, the um, band of the, the, the road match. Yeah, we'll have to look at that. But you see, there's a lot of things that go into that, you know, um, especially the judging and the, um, and the making sure that we adhere to the rules. That is a big thing because there, there, to me, there's always an exception or an escape or, oh, I didn't know that, I didn't hear that. And then you into a big controversy and we, we, we don't need that. So, um, you know, Calypso is able to say, my road match is X and that's that. Fellas can say what they want. But if DDA have to say the road matches, all of a sudden, fellas want to take us to court. I know. You know? I, and, I understand. And, you know, that, that's, that, that's not what I'm in business for. Uh, uh, I'm trying to market the nation. I'm not trying to spend time in court defending what we're trying to do for, you know. So, when we're ready, when all of us are ready, we, we can talk. You yeah, know? May, we, may, we, may we see any Calypso at the World Korean Music Festival? Right. May we, may we. In as much as it is so important and so much of an important part Boy, of Carnival and well, our tourism product. We will try, but you know, that is the time where all Tom, Dick and Harry coming out of the woodwork and has a band and wants to. And um, I get a lot of whispers in the ears, you know, for those things. But Calypso is probably due, you know, so we'll have to look at it. But, you know, we've said to Calypso they can get the four court, you know, they can own the four court. I know they want to be on the big stage, but guess what? The four court in and of itself, they can own that for a night, uh, you know, and we're ready to give. We can, I can commit that, you know, if they are willing to do that, you know, because... Give, it, them, give, it, give them the four court for the entire night. Give them the four for the entire night, yes, sir. Every information <laughs> is Calypso. Provide sound system, yeah, provide everything, everything for him. Everything. I, I, I hope they're listening. Colin Piper is committing that. Okay. Okay, my final, final, final question. Uh, any plans of requesting a larger budget for Carnival, seeing as much it is so important to us well, as a people? We, uh, through the ministry, we have secured a budget uh, that we put forth um, and that uh, we hope if it remains will give us the flexibility to do some planning earlier and start to do some more things. So, um, because we went uh, through the ministry, made a request to cabinet that um, we look at the subventions for each of the festivals, not just Carnival, but Jazz, Carnival, and World Creole. And so we're hopeful that um, we'll be successful with those and that we'll be able to do some planning and that we'll be able to do some, some bigger things for the season. Good interview with uh, Mr. Colin Piper. Get us? Yeah, certainly. Um, thank you very much. Mr. Piper, you've always um, been willing to speak with us and we do appreciate your time. All right. Thank you very much. Looking forward to Jazz and Creole. Well, that's the next one. April April 30th. April 30th. Yeah. Anything new for Jazz and Creole this year? Well, as soon as we're done here, we will um, pick up the planning where we were and um, just want to continue to make it a great lime, a great family vibe. You know, to I'm inviting Wadix to come out to, <laughs> to Jazz and Creole. Uh, you know, I think the first time you rock the crowd for the, for the World Creole intermission, we yeah, want, yeah, we, yeah. you know, you make somebody take your spot. No, that's okay, man. Um, it'd it have, it have to turn it around. it have to go around. it have to okay. turn around. Well, next, next April 30th. <laughs> okay. Any foreign, any foreign acts this year? Well, there will be, yes. We always try to have at least two foreign acts and three locals. Sometimes three foreign, two local, depending on how we can do. Because at the end of the day, you know, we want people to have a good time, but... What's more important about jazz is the fringe is starting to grow. So from the, even the Sunday before the, you know, you know, the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, their activities, where again, people can go out and they can spend some money. It used to be we decentralized, you know, and we want to distribute some of the money around. So we want that to come back, you know, 
since Maria, we were thrown off the game a little, but we want that to come back. So we're looking forward to that. Okay, Mr. Colin Piper. And uh, we hope that everything will turn out as safe as we have been seeing it so far. And may God bless you, sir. Yes, that's right. Last lap, another three hours and 25 minutes. You plan to take a chip with the madam? I done that already. Got <laughs> <laughs> He's hitting me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Curtis Matthew. Just said from Mr. Colin Piper. Yes, um, I think you raised a lot of important issues. I think your questioning was right on point. And uh, sometimes uh, what it's... These uh, people in this main area, sometimes you, you don't hear certain things from them. And uh, so it was good tonight to hear him reveal certain things. And sometimes you almost feel sorry because you, you're out there, you make statements and so, and so on. And these organizers, these main people, sometimes don't give, you the, they don't give you the information. So it was really good indeed that he was able to at least address some very important matters here this evening. And in particular, the non-collaboration with the Calypso Association. Um, if you are dealing with the people that are responsible for carnival, at least you should have a, a very close uh, relationship with them. And um, whatever that is necessary, uh, you should actually bring it up to them. I think if you bring it up a year in advance, I think it may be um, adequate time that they could work on it and give you an answer. I believe somewhere or some collaboration should be made, like we said um, earlier, with the DDA and with the Calypso Association to ensure at least three bands are on the road playing Calypso. Yeah, there are a number of issues they need to discuss. If Observer, the president of the Calypso Association is listening, Davidson, Observer, Victor, you heard from Mr. Piper earlier on, and there needs to be some discussion. You need with your executive to sit with the DDA because, Leroy, there are a number of matters to be addressed from the Calypso Association standpoint and the DDA. There are a lot of issues that they have to resolve. I mean, here is it. This is the organization that is responsible for the entire carnival. If you make a, a, a proposal or you send a proposal to them a year in advance, you may get a response as early as possible. So if you know that you may need sponsorship, private sponsorship, in discussing with your headline partners and other partners, you may know what is budgeted for those extra bands to put on the road. And here it is, Kenneth, and here it is that Mr. Piper said openly on national radio, he's willing to discuss any proposal that may come from the uh, Calypso Association. So it appears that they have been in deep sleep somewhere along the line. Because it's years now we have been coming here and asking for Calypso. And we are expecting Calypso from the Buyo bands. Nothing is in place from neither the Calypso Association or DDA. And yet still we expect Calypso to automatically be on the road. Someone needs to make the effort. Why are we leaving it up to, let's say, Thunderbirds and Carnival Corner and Old Time Sick? These are sound systems that are playing Calypso. We need to have the live bands. Yes, Swinging Stars will always have the preference for the two singers who are also in the competition and you cannot vex about that. But then if you have neutral bands like let's say Serenade and you have um, Fanatic, for a period of time on Monday and Tuesday you rotate them live Calypso and then that antiquated law about uh, Calypso and can sing their song should be abolished immediately. Well, Leroy Wadix Charles, I'm told that the Triple K band, Triple K International is around the corner. Somebody told me that a number of young people have already gathered around this area. When you look around, you see a number of young people. It tells me that that probably is true, that the Triple K International, uh, they are around the corner. And it's uh, no surprise all of a sudden you start to feel some excitement. You start to feel around us quite a bit of the younger generation. Uh, they have really, um, they made a statement yesterday, Kiddus. Yes. We saw several bands uh, passing through, but Triple K, once again, they really, uh, in, you know, really encompassed that perimeter with a vavoom, a decibel that really send their fans and friends into a frenzy. Their chants, their, heap, their, their catalog of hits, old and new, really captivated their, their, their massive fan base yesterday. Yes, um, the Triple K International, they were awesome. 
they played the music to have their, their patrons dancing in the streets. And uh, if they go to pass here at this time, at uh, quarter to seven, this may well be the last time they're passing here for the carnival season. Absolutely, and we are waiting patiently for them. But there is uh, a question for you. Have you, or uh, possibly you, you are the scientist behind um, finding out <laughs> why certain... Uh, why certain human beings have certain patterns? Why are Dominican women in particular, their preference is to show off their posterior? Well, that's a difficult, very, very <laughs> difficult question. I don't think I have the answers to that at all. Leroy Warwick Charles, you said I'm the scientist in that area. I don't know how true that is. But obviously, it's a, a really difficult question for me to is answer. It a, is it a Caribbean thing? But um. The women, they, they took pride, they take pride in, in really showing you um, what they have amassed during their, their, their years of existence. Yeah, what we can say is that the, the, the ladies have really enjoyed this carnival. <laughs> you saw it on the streets, you, you saw their action, you saw the way they moved around, uh, the, the confidence. So one would have to say the ladies who came out in this carnival, they are not disappointed at all. No, and um, we must say, they are really, really high in confidence. They are extremely brave. Because I saw some, um, some outfits which left a lot to be desired. <laughs> and that depends on who you speak to. Uh, somebody will tell you, there's some people who will say, that's, that's fine, it's, it's carnival time and we, we expect that. But there are those who will say, well, yeah, I think you, you went overboard. And well, you need to, you need no, to, not well. And I saw what normally seemed to be at the back, at the front. <laughs> Especially in um, explaining, there's a type of um, underwear they call the string. Are you familiar with that underwear, Kenneth? No, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not really <laughs> sure about this one. <laughs> there's a type of feminine underwear called the string. And we know the string is normally at the back. Well, in this kind of um, edition, I saw the string at the front. Well, well, Leroy Charles, it appears that this, the, the multitude of people, they in fact coming towards our direction. I don't know if we should stay where we are in the middle no. of the road. No. Uh, we need to... Uh, I think we should go closer to, the, to base. Yes. Because uh, the crowd is coming very, very fast. And we haven't seen any direction. sign of the truck yet. No, we have not seen the truck at all. But we can tell you uh, we are in the capital city. This is uh, Carnival Tuesday, uh, Le Mardi Mass, Mardi Gras. It's uh, that time when we, uh, Catholics in particular, do their last set of revelry. And um, tomorrow will be Ash Wednesday, and most Catholics go for their ash. Are you a Catholic, uh, Curtis? Yes, very much so, um, for a long time. And uh, I'm also a, a churchgoer. So you will you be taking your ash tomorrow? Yes, I think that's that's very possible. That's Will very it be uh, Father Briggs? I'm not sure yet. I'm or sure one yet. of the Monsignors? Could be one of them. The one that um, gave you the sacrament of matrimony? <laughs> 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 the Triple K Band is approaching us. Uh, we haven't seen their truck, but we can already tell you that some of their fans have approached us and we are at the corner, uh, the historic corner of uh, Independence Street, formerly Queen Mary Street, and uh, a great Marlboro Street. I spoke to Mr. Uh, Nicholas of the Trade Union earlier uh, today, Curtis. This building, are you aware this building has been in existence uh, since in the 1940s, and it has uh, withstood hurricane after hurricane, including David and Maria? Yeah, this, this building has been a historic one has been around since 1948. Yes, that's according to, according to um, Mr. Uh, Nicholas. That's Bernard Nicholas, the president of the uh, Dominica Trade Union. Yes, and, and this building, a lot of meetings, a lot of trade unions. In fact, a lot of important meetings would have taken place right here. Especially um, meetings of industrial relations, political meetings would have been taking place here. Some of the greatest uh, politicians would have uh, spoken on this platform, and it uh, still stands today. And um, we are just across that particular building, and um, the building they used to call Back Forces, it is now uh, a $3 store. And then to our right, Curtis, 
the famous Piper Step. Were you alive when you we, Swinging Stars used to play that kind of? Yes, I've seen. I've seen some <laughs> some jams from the Swinging Stars, and just opposite is the National Cooperative Credit Union League. Very and important building too. Yes, financial. and just before the National Cooperative building is Jackson's shop. And we are receiving our internet, get us? From, right, right from. from. And Jackson's shop would be uh, another staple in the city. Has been around for a long time. W yes, owned by uh, Mr. Jackson as the elder and now the son, Egbert Jackson. So we are in a historic area, get us? And possibly whenever you decide to go up for the Monjon constituency, you can have your, your break-in at the <laughs> trade union centre. Why not? Why not in in the constituency itself? Well, you have you, you you are overall, as a matter of fact, a few constituents came to look for you earlier, including your brother. Yes. And they told me unanimously, unanimously, you are the mayor of Monjon. <laughs> you not, I mean, this is undisputed. So if already you have whole of Monjon and whole of River Civic, uh, a few meetings in ground four and you should be okay well i it's, it's not as easy as you say politics is not always as very easy as you 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 want to believe there's so many different things that you have to look at is but this long sleeve uh, a statement that that is the next for Curtis Matthew? no not not necessarily not necessarily um, but this is, possibly this is carnival possibly then, well one can say possibly you, you never know you never know <laughs> So, okay, I'm going to put you on the spot. I'm going to... Oh, you want to fly? You are? Um, no, asking if you want to fly. No, 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 I do not want to fly. No, male, male vole, vole kakiesa, male vole. Oh, okay, boss. I do not want to fly. Okay, sir. I am comfortable on the ground. Point taken. And if I want to fly, I will check AA. Okay. That's my plane. <laughs> but, Kenneth, uh, if you are approached, if you are approached, Will you consider? No, well, these things uh, are not always very easy. Um, there are different conditions one would have to look at. Did Madame agree? No, well, there are the other conditions. That For one instance, would have to look at um, some um, compensation. No, you, there are other things. There are other things. <laughs> For um, instance, you have to ensure that the conditions are right. For instance, um, what time? What time? What year it is? And a lot of different factors one would have to consider before you decide to take a jump into the field of politics. But it's a, it's, there's a possibility. Oh, I am not sure. I don't know. You are not ruling it out. I, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> I, I really don't know. Um, <laughs> peep, some people have already said, people have said in the past, that um, I would run this, this year, I would run the following year. And so it's, it's a lot of factors. Your name has been a, a wrong running for some around. Time, around for some time. But no direct uh, contact. They have been contacts. You're serious? And they you have, turn down, you turn down the contacts. contacts? You turn down the contacts? Yeah, they have been contacts. And you past. turn down the contacts? As to whether I turned it down, as to whether... Or the wrong party, which one? Well, I mean, they have been contacts, you know, <laughs> but... You know, these are things contacts that... Contacts from the wrong party? Not necessarily that. It's just that sometimes the timing is not right. You have to look at the timing. Okay. And so on. So these are things you have to look at. But that is also, I'm not sure if you notice, is... Um, I just want to ask a question again. Is um, marijuana legal in the band, Curtis? Is, 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 <laughs> we are here live in the streets, we get some instructions from our tech. The TK International is approaching us. We can so see some signal from our vantage point. I'm not sure if you noticed, I was about to tell you if you noticed that um, some narcotics are being um, used in the band. Is it legal? Well, I, the cigarette, I, the marijuana cigarette. Is no, it legal? no, I mean you cannot smoke in the midst of people. That part of it is illegal for sure. You cannot smoke in the in the midst of people. It I, is supposed I, I to think, be at your home. I think that is very clear. That is very so. It clear. should be at your home. Yeah, that is extremely So once again, clear. I suspect the police officers have been a kind of lenient this year, allowing all the benefactors of uh, the cigarettes that is not Hillsborough special to be smoked. Well. well, well what is again in a, in, a, in a huge band like this, I'm not sure whether officers going to be looking for somebody with, with something that looks like a cigarette. I'm, I, I'm not sure because this is a huge gathering. And uh, for the police officers now to be passing around looking for that, 
that is going to be a difficult venture for any police officer. But let's suppose a police officer would observe someone. Is that um, a detention or you, you just actually tell him put it out and go home? I don't know. It all depends as to the police officer. I don't know what he can do. But it's illegal to be smoking in the midst of, of people, especially in a crowd like this. Okay. Get us back to the action. We are live in the capital city. King Curtis Matthew. You should make you should, you could make a good lawyer. <laughs> you would make a good lawyer, my brother. But you could see it, my word, what a crowd. Now with TK, they now approach the junction of uh, Queen or former Queen Mary Street Independent Street and Kennedy Avenue. And their front is already past Cox Street, Curtis. Yes, and uh, they, they have not really Yes, in fact, they have started playing now. The Super K International. Huge crowds of I people think I in should this Super K International. And they are playing that popular Boo Your Eyes, Celine Dion, which I've heard quite a bit from for the entire carnival. Can we now take in some music from the TK International? Get this with you. Yes, let's go across to TK International.
Drop driver, keep it rolling. We're not stopping. Just roll it. Roll it, trust. This is DBS Radio, Triple K International passing through. What a mass of people jumping and dancing to the Triple K International. What a band. Large crowds of people in the streets of Roseau. Triple K International.
This is DBS Radio. We are live in the streets of Brussels. The Triple K International, a mega band. They're, they're passing through. Hundreds of hundreds of people are dancing with the Triple K International. What a statement the Triple K is making here tonight in the streets of Brussels. CBS Radio, we have been around covering this event for the last two days. We have seen nothing like this for the last two days. Where we're standing just outside the, the Jackson shop. It's difficult to see the start and the end of this van. Hundreds and hundreds of people are dancing and in a frenzy here in the streets of Roseau. Triple K International in full flight. 
this this is the triple k international this is the tk international and what a statement what a statement they made in the streets of the capital city man what a jam down with the triple k tk international easily the biggest band on the road and um a, cat a catalog of hits once again daddy benji tiki and alfil in the vocal spotlight and what a showdown what a crowd they have truly mastered the road they are the technicians they are the scientists they are the road warriors and they have really proved it once again the biggest and tightest band through the perimeter so far the tk international the triple k easily easily the biggest band of the day and they have mastered the science of the road king curtis matthew well what we we've said we've been around for the last two days and this is easily the biggest one we've seen and maybe it's no surprise this is the last lap but certainly they have they have made a big statement triple k international with loads and loads of people as they pass by you had to secure yourself <laughs> yes we had to really secure head to the side head to covers and secure ourselves in the space of the dvs vehicle <laughs> <laughs> almost like going to hide somewhere. yes 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 we had to scurry for shelter but once again they proved that they are the masters of the road what a what and i mean the sound system is pounding the gyration of the revelers seem to be aggressive and they are really doing your thing once again a catholic of hits get and they are belting down the bouillon like none other on the road for uh carnival tuesday get Matthew. and the patrons the the, the, the their supporters the patrons are dancing and dancing away what an afternoon has been for the triple k band here on the streets of roso but it's no doubt i mean they have been playing all over the caribbean playing carnivals all over the caribbean and they have waited two years for this and they have really really really, really made a statement <laughs> as we say good evening to mario what's up what's up my brother Romeo. Romeo. Massive, Qui ça ouais mais plus um, triple K triple K ou pour pour sortir pour Pierre Exactly. Uh, merci à Pierre pour venir à Dominica Co pour fêter avec nous et nous casse yo que passe donc on casse c'était magnifique. Magnifique. Très magnifique. Très magnifique. Très, magnifique. Très joli aussi. Merci. Dominica number 1. Number 1 as usual positive feedbacks and um quite a bit of people from the French Antilles actually come down for this particular band. They are extremely, extremely popular alongside um, Esa Bantan, the Buya boss, and the Signal Band. And you know, I mean, there uh, Rio also is very popular in the French Antilles. But when you talk about um, a, a fan, a huge fan base, they are very Guadeloupe. Guadeloupe. Yes, Guadeloupe in particular. And I mean, I mean, I can tell you from the Val Ferry side that quite a bit of people from Guadeloupe in particular came down, especially for this uh, the Triple K. Esa Banton, Rio, and the Signal Band. Wow, right. So, really, it's by my watch quarter past eight. Is that quarter past eight, quarter past seven? Quarter past seven, yeah. Quarter past I, seven. <laughs> and, Is uh, it that indication that they're ready to leave? Well, I think our plan really was to was to uh, stay until eight o'clock. Be on the road until eight. Okay, so and, we can uh, hang around and possibly get some feedback. That is what I think we should we should try to um, get from the. The patrons, let's hear from them. Uh, what do they think about um, the, the, the carnival? Is that something that we do every year? Yes. So there is nothing I see wrong. a few fellow friends of yours. Okay, let's see if we can get some. Good evening. Good evening. Can you have a word with you? Can you have a short word with you? This is DBS Radio. And uh, how are you enjoying carnival so far? 
It seems to be going very well, very well. I uh, enjoyed yesterday and I'm enjoying tonight. Okay, are you, you, are you residing in Dominica? Yes, yes. Okay, and so far so good, peaceful? Yes, peaceful, very nice. I'm enjoying it. It's the best. 2023, it's Carnival 2023 is the best by far. Thank you very much. Uh, what about you? Same for me, same for me, because two of us together, the two of us are liming. Okay. So we what are, you got a chance to um, enjoy any of the shows before Carnival, before um, Jump Up? No, I didn't go to any of them. But just the street Jump Up? Yes, just the street Jump Up. Okay, thank you very much. Full endorsements. Get this, Matthew. Thank you very much, sir. Full endorsements for the street the Jump Up so far. Okay, that's a father of good. Vinny, Vinny, Spider. Vinny, Vinny, man. Sp <laughs> the father of good. The late Kurt Matthew. Sagavet, bon va au pizza. Bon va au pizza. Ou peut parler avec moi? Oui, bon va parler aujourd'hui. Mais mon temps nous gaillou vers quoi? Oui, bon va au Spider qui arrête tout d'un. Bon les musicaux. Pas de problème, mais Spider qui commence à quoi? Very very soon. Okay, my brother, that is the father of uh, Bobo of our friend, the late Let's, let's, let's ask um, Danny, 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 Danny Reed. Good evening to you. Good evening, Curtis. What are your own impressions about the, the carnival this year? I'm just happy that it's violence free. That's it. I'm just happy about that. What about um, the two days jump up so far? It looks good. Everybody's enjoying themselves. I didn't know Dominica had so much. So much of. So much. So much of. So much. Of the feminine gender. So that's all my eyes can see. That's all the eyes can see. We, uh, were you able to attend any of the shows prior to the jump up? Yeah, Calypso. And now, uh, what are your impressions? We can do better. We've done better in the past. What areas of concerns are. Production. Uh, production, production. Production. The show cannot begin at 10 o'clock. I mean, this is ridiculous. So we have to do better. I think um, the Calypso Association needs to engage a production company to run the shows for them. They can't do it themselves. They fail in this area. And I think um, President um, Observer needs to realize to give it to someone else to, ro to, to produce. Because semi-finals, quarter-finals, they're all lit. And we can't, be, we can't I, by 2 o'clock, we need the results. I agree with you 100%. In terms of the Queen show, what are your impressions? I, I saw excerpts of it, and um, I was very pleased. I believe that the winner won, the lady from the, lady from the East. But our reaction Kalinago from the Kalinago territory in particular. The East, the East is alright. Kalinago, I, I let us give. Too, you know, like I you know, but let us give the Kalinago territory <laughs> what belongs to them. Yeah, they've been, they've been doing very good of late. Very, very, very good. I love the ladies. I love the people there, and um, they're very good. So she deserved it easily. She, it is easy win. She's very consistent for all the wrongs. Uh, my belief is that our reaction. We need to. We need to. We need to lose graciously. We need to be able to praise people who win. You know, and don't and don't throw stones, don't throw bottles. I mean, we're too much here for that. And I just feel that we, 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 we regress every time we behave foolish. Uh, in terms of a uh, uh, balance between Calypso, Bouillon on the road, um, what's your opinion? I haven't been here in the Calypsos. I've been here for three days on the road now, from Juve to now, and I've not been here in the Calypsos. Is that a concern for you? It is a concern because there's some. I mean, there's some really good Calypsos this year, and I think a number of them could easily be road match. And I just wish I, be, I was hearing more of that. I'm not. I'm really not hearing it. You know. Continue to enjoy, Master Dominic, 2023, Danny. Yes, my brother. Thank you. Thank and you God so bless you. That's you. Danny Reed, you giving us his impressions. A year, uh, Natalie. 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 Let's see if we could get uh, Mrs. Walsh. Uh, good evening, Mrs. Walsh. Good evening, Mrs. Walsh. This is DBS Radio. How are you? Long time we haven't seen. How are you? How are you? I'm doing great. So this is Tuesday, kind of a Tuesday last lap, and we're all just having lots of fun here in the city of Dominica Rosso. Are you are you residing here? I haven't seen you. <laughs> I haven't been seeing you, I Nats. Back. I am back. I'm Wadex. I, I worked um, in Guyana, a telephone um, company there for about a year and a half. But I'm back in Dominica. Looking for a great opportunity, guys. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's hope that one of our corporate can citizens can evening. hear that. Um, in terms of carnival, have you been to any of the shows um, um, prior to Jump Up? Um, I have been to, when well, I attended the, the um, Calypso Monarch, um, and it was great. Um, trilogy, I, he was, he, you know, he deserved um, his crown. He did very well. Um, it is good to have a young blood, you know, Calypsonian, doing, you know, some great things. Um, fresh talent, you know, fresh voice. Um, so I do hope that he will represent the country, our country Dominica, very well in the coming, you know, 12 months. What about the jump up Monday and um, today? 
Well, uh, yesterday, well, actually, I started my carnival on um, Carnival Sunday. Uh, I went to the South and Punch, then I head to Fort Young for Swinging Stars. How was that Fort Young dance? I had a great time, as usual. You know, Swinging Stars is one of our, you know, longest serving band in Dominica. And every single year, every event, you know, they always um, perform exceedingly well. So it was great. It was great. And today I've been part of the Africulture Stilt Workers. My daughter Dariel is a member, so the parents had to accompany them. And then now I'm just here walking around town and enjoying Triple K and WCK and Signal Band and just having fun with the people, you know. I want to commend the Afri Stilt Workers. I mean, really exemplary. Their costumes were just out of this world. And um, it augurs well, it's, an, it's a historical part of our traditional aspect of our carnival and I really want to congratulate them for keeping it up. Yes, Wadix, indeed. I want to applaud um, uh, Charlene Christian White, among many others on her committee, who did an, you know, a very, very good job. The kids had fun. They were beautiful, well-dressed, and they represented Dominica and the Caribbean by extension very well today. So hats off to them. Okay, Nats, continue to enjoy the carnival, and may God bless you. I will. Thank you, and you guys have fun and be safe. Okay, thank you very much, Mrs. Natalie Walsh, former uh, marketing manager at DigiCell. We just said she uh, did a stint in Guyana. Uh, we continue to ask our friends their opinions. We have someone from the Southeast, Curtis. I wanted to hear from you. How do you feel about the Carnival 2023? Oh, the Carnival 2023 was great. It was been very well. I came out from Laplin. I came down to town and it's fine. It's good. I really enjoyed it. What aspects of the carnival did you enjoy the most? Um, the parade of bands, I love to, I love to see. So what, what about Lapland Carnival in Lapland this year? Anything? You said you came from Lapland. Uh -huh. But did you have carnival in Lapland? It was kind of, kind of. Kind of. All that could have been better. Okay, let's ask someone else. Um, how are you this evening? I'm fine, thank you. And how are you enjoying um, Carnival 2023? Oh my God, awesome. Awesome. It's been like three years. Three years you haven't enjoyed it? Jesus, and the juve was like massive. Oh. Were you able to attend any of the events prior to the jump up? No, no. No, really. but just the jump up itself, you enjoyed yeah, the juve? How was yesterday? Yesterday was good. Really, 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 really good. And today? Yeah. Today? I'm going to take my last. Yeah, last lap. Oh, yeah. Okay, continue to enjoy, Mass Dominic, my dear. The, 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 the um, parades, it was late, yeah? The parade? And yeah, the parades were late, and then to me, it's like it could have been earlier, and then. It's were, you, were you disappointed with the parade? I wasn't disappointed, but it's the time. Oh, there's a time factor. Yeah, it should have um, time, yeah. started earlier. Because no, I should have been like jamming, I should have been like. So that cost you. Uh, uh, oh, at least of jumping. Thank you very much. Yes, that's it. So we will not take more of your time. Enjoy the rest of Mass Dump 2023. Uh, but so far, overall endorsements, uh, Curtis Matthew. Let's see if we can ask this young lady, Curtis. <laughs> and she <laughs> she came from La like, Guada, da, 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 da. Bonsoir. 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 Est-ce que ça va? Ça va bien. Ça va très, très bien. <laughs> Pas si bien. C'est presque fini. Je suis triste. <laughs> pourquoi? Pourquoi? I wish it would last longer. I know you reside in Guadeloupe. Exactly. And you came in especially for the carnival. Exactly. What aspect of the carnival you enjoy the most? Costume band, to be honest. Because this is one I have more space to enjoy myself. So it was all good, you know, but my favorite day is uh, Carnival Tuesday. Uh, you didn't enjoy yesterday? I, I swear I saw you in the, in the juve. I did enjoy it, but I'm just saying today was better. Which band were you part of? Hysteria. Oh, hysteria. Uh -huh. And you really had fun? Oh, yes. So much fun. You don't even know. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how much you would give Dominica's Carnival this year? 9.5. 9.5. Thank you very much. Go bisou à toi. Go bisou. Okay. She resides in um, Guada, Curtis, and once again, endorsements. For the jump up, the jump up seemed to be uh, overwhelmingly enjoyed. I hope we could get some. It appears so that elderly. people seem to have enjoyed themselves. Yes. Uh, jumping in the streets of Russell. Let's Good evening to you. Could you just comment on the cameras right there? This is TBS ready. Right, this is TBS. And we just want to ask you about the carnival. The carnival is great. I'm having fun. I came from Miami to spend some time in my country. And I must say, carnival is amazing this year. 
and uh, the people in Miami who are listening to your family, friends, what do you say to them right now? I say, all oh, you missing out, all oh, you should have come this year. <laughs> <laughs> Two years we didn't have carnival, now we have it, it's great. What's your name? My name is Rosette. Rosette, and the people are listening to you, they're looking at you. Say a last thing to them before you leave. La vie du moi, Pamele. I love that, I love that. La vie du moi, Pamele. Uh, let's see if we can get opinions uh, from at least some of the Dominicans. more senior citizens. We are getting some younger uh, ones. Good evening to you. We, we're on the radio. We just want to hear a little word from you on the radio. This is our cameraman right here, Dean Thomas. Um, good evening to you. Good evening. Tell us your name, please. My name is Kens. Kens the Breda. The Breda from where? Kings Hill. Kings Hill. Tell us about Carnival 2023. Oh, this was in my emancipation time. Last Carnival, I was pregnant, so this time I come out to <laughs> enjoy myself. <laughs> you, you, three up, you three up triple. Yes, trust me. I and enjoyed myself. So which one of the days you enjoyed the most yesterday, today? All of them. All of them. Were you <laughs> able to attend any of the shows? Uh, unfortunately, no, because of how busy my schedule okay. is. But I enjoyed Carnival. Trust me, 10 out of 10, I would definitely recommend. 10? 10 out of 10. But then uh, tell us about um, the braiding industry. How has it been? Um, it's a bit tough, um, but I feel like because I have a little group where we discuss um, how to make our business work for us, um, it, it, it will work out eventually. What's the name of that group? Um, it's the Dominica Hairdressers. And uh, all of you from Kingsville? Not, no, we are spread out all over the country. And you are, you are you're what in the group? The president? Uh, uh, well, I started a group, but yeah. Okay, so basically you would organize pricing and... Um, yeah, we uh, we discuss pricing and when new stars come out, we discuss how we should price them and so forth. Yeah. Okay, and how was the season, the tourism season been it, for you? It was really hectic. I'm talking 2 o'clock in the morning, braiding here. <laughs> okay, any questions, Kenneth, for this lovely lady? I did not realize that there was that association in Dominica. Um, it, it's not really an association, but I one day I just figured that we should all come together to discuss our prices because we, we were really giving good quality for the, the lowest, honestly. Right, well, I want to wish you all the best. Thank you. And congratulations for the good work that you do. Thank you. Bye. All okay, the best. Okay, a lovely young lady, Kenneth. And it's good because what could easily happen is underpricing, yeah, and um, it could take you take um, take away from the value of um, the work that you're doing. Braiding could be a really tedious, tedious uh, profession. Spend several hours, especially if it's the the small braiding process. Have you uh, ever had any friend of yours who you have had to wait for while they do some braiding? Well, I mean, yes and, and, and no, but, but, but what it's, we, we just want to get a, a okay, few let's more people. See. Okay, let's see. Okay, hi. To you. Good evening to you. This is TBS Radio. Here is the cameraman. We just want to get your views. Could you just right. turn so that the camera can the take cameraman yes. can see you. We just want to get, what, what's your name, please? Christine. Christine from where? I'm from London. Christine from London. And how has Carnival been for you? It was lovely. Really, really nice. I enjoyed it. Everything. What, what aspects of the carnival, what did you like the most? The costumes, and you know how everything was organized. Yeah, that's it. Will you come back next year? No, not, not next year. No. Following year? Probably, yeah. Probably, yes. Yeah. And will you, will you tell your friends about how you enjoy all yourself? My all my friends are here. All your friends are here. <laughs> all of them are here. Okay. All right, then. Okay, all so the best. you, you really best. look like you're enjoying yourself. What is your costume like, your head, your headpiece? Yeah, I just bought it. Probably <laughs> just my own. It's a booty. I just Okay, enjoy yourself, my dear. Well, well, okay. well, well Leroy yeah, Charles, uh, I see the police officers. Well, you you might have some luck with them. Let's let's see if we can is get. Is that is that Sai? Yeah, that is that is uh, that Sai. Let's see if we can get a comment or two. Um, Sai, good evening to you, police officer. Good evening to you. Yeah, good evening, Curtis. What's going on? Everything good, Carnival, as you can see. By the way, did you enjoy the Calypso season? Oh yes, that goes without saying, man. I had the opportunity to do it for the. Patrons. Yeah, the patrons and so on. So I notice, I notice you, were the un, you were the undisputed monarch. <laughs> From princess show to the monarch to teenage pageant to mask him to, to stardom. You yeah, sang all, all the songs. All Congratulations, man, for doing a Congratulations for doing a fantastic job. Thank you very job. much. Thank you very much. I would just like to urge everyone, you know, to... We got a few more hours for the carnival, you know, just keep it peaceful as it has been for the past two days. It's very peaceful and I, I need to applaud, you know, the patrons for that, you know. 
We've been having a very, very, very peaceful carnival thus far. So we'll just keep it that way until the end. What are the reports from the uh, other areas around Dominica? Well, the reports have been good so far. No real, you know, incident as such. So things are going well. Okay, we just want to really thank you and congratulate the police officers for their conspicuous presence among us and for allowing the peace to be observed on the nature ride. Once again, thank you and for what you did for culture and calypso this season. Thank you very by, much. By the, by the way, Sai, will you be back next year in, in competition? The, the fans are looking for you when they don't see you. They ask questions. I'll will you there. be back? I'll be there, Kelly. I'll be there for sure. <laughs> one last question, sir. You any any plans of returning to the to the um, one of my dream places, Dubai? <laughs> Take care. You don't have to answer there. You don't have to answer there. <laughs> Uh, his oh, wife, uh, as a matter of fact, he yes. spent, uh, I think, a year or two. Yeah, yeah, he's been spending time in, in Dubai. You know that's one of the places I would love to go, Curtis? Really? Yeah, man. Right, right, right. You went there for your honeymoon, the way you sound like you're familiar with no, Dubai. No, no, I've not, been, I've not been to Dubai. <laughs> you, are, you, are, you sound like you're familiar with um, places like this. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Where was the place, Curtis? You scored 200 runs. You scored 200 runs. Um, that's in Holland. In, in Holland. Holland, yes. That uh, is before they played cricket? Or? No, no, no. The Holland at the time had a, a very very good league going on. There were people from other islands taking part in the in the Holland League. In fact, as you know, Holland has been taking part in the World Cup in World Cup cricket. Uh, so there are leagues going on in Holland. At the time when I started in Holland, I had the opportunity while there to play in one or two leagues. And you scored and, a double century. And uh, I got some runs there. <laughs> I got some runs there. Uh, but just for the folks uh, who may not know, you did some work in terms of broadcasting. Uh, there you actually uh, got Holland. yourself educated there in terms of um, a professional broadcaster? Yeah, Holland. In fact, once I can tell you, when I went to Holland to do this radio course, I think that this way opened my mind as to the things you do, the things you don't do as a broadcaster. And that is why, you know, these sort of courses, these sort of um, opportunities are very good for broadcasters. Because I went to Holland, I've been spent uh, my first five, six years at, at DBS. Went to Holland then, and I got the opportunity there to learn so many different techniques. And that is really where it opened my mind to so many opportunities, so many things in broadcasting. And that is why the broadcaster always needs to at least get these sort of courses and to, um, to, to help him do different things, to do things differently. Is that an unofficial message to the management of... Um TBS to get courses like this for some of the workers? No, well, well, but I think every, every management, every um, radio management, they, they know that they know that uh, when opportunities do come that you have to expose the, you, the, the staff. Okay. Uh, but the, the only thing is that these courses are few and fine between these days. One of the days when you had all these courses happening at the same time. Okay, I want to physically have a word with this lady. Because I know she's very close to the culture and um, she's an ardent follower of music in general. Good evening, no, not worry, cold or not. Good evening to you, Celia. How have you been enjoying Carnival so far? I think we waited for two years. Two years. And I think the wait was worth it. I had a fabulous time for Juven yesterday. And as you can tell by my voice, I have come down with a bit of a cold, so I'm just coming to observe this evening. Or tonight, it's night time. I'm just coming to observe. I know you know. But I think it, it was a fabulous. Uh -huh. I mean, in the, for Juve, there were probably about four Labo Cabwits. Yes. And then the electronic bands came out at seven. And I think everybody had a great time. I, also I saw a bit of the costume bands today. Yes, exactly. And uh, I think it was spectacular. I know you also love a lot of balance between the Buyo and Kai, so are you satisfied with the balance you heard? Not really. It's almost like the Buyo is eclipsing the, the Calypso. Yesterday there were, well I saw, two uh, high fives high yes. with Calypso and I jumped in both of them because Myself, to me it was I very a, I took a to me it was very refreshing. I cannot keep up with the fast pace of the Buyo, At so I was very <laughs> satisfied and happy that there were those two high high fives on the road yesterday last night. On a scale of one to ten, what will you give the Carnival Street jump up uh, yesterday and today? What you have observed? Today, what? today I cannot say because I've been in town for a very short period today. But yesterday? Yesterday, um, a scale of one to ten, I would give it a seven. 
that's reasonable enough. You think that's, that's fair? That's fair enough. I, I, yeah. I saw your very good friend Jaira. She spoke to us last evening. Oh, she did. Of course, she went back today. today. Yes, she went back today. Unfortunately, <laughs> she had work commitments and she had to leave today. I know, I know. Continue yes. to enjoy yourself and stay beautiful as always. Yes, thank you, my darling. All right. Bye. Thank you very she much. She is an attorney. Attorney at law. At law. And I think a band is approaching us, Gettys? Yes. It uh, sounds like Calypso. A band, yes, a band is in the in the area. But let's see if we can get one or two more yes. comments, more one comment. or two more. Yes. Uh, to hear from the, 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 the carnival it, patrons. As views on the return of carnival in Dominica. Yes, let's see if we could um, ask a few more of the revelers uh, their opinions. Good evening, good evening, hi, good evening. Just come around there, please. Just come a while. Um, how, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. This is TBS Radio. We just wanted to hear from you. How you feel about Carnival this year? It's amazing, yes. What What is amazing about the Carnival? Everything, everything. Did you enjoy it fully? Yes. What aspects, what areas that you enjoy the most? Oh, Juve. Yes. Anything you'd like to say to anybody listening to you now? Uh, what's your name, by the way? Excuse? What's your name? Amina. And is there anything you'd like to say to anybody listening to you now? Well, I think they should come down to town right now. Yes. All the best. Thank you. Bro. Yes, thank you. Yes, get us, Matthew. This band. Hey, Kaufe Timal. Kaufe. Very bien, very bien. Come on, guys. We're going to have a lot. I'm going to be with you. I'm going to be with you. Merci, man. I'm going to be with you. 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 Uh, is that um, swinging stars approaching, Gareth? Is that a swinging stars man? I am not quite sure. Uh, Sprinkle is actually coming down with uh, the visit of this man approaching us. Can we take some music, Gareth? Can we take some music?
Yes, ready, we're live in the streets of Ro Rosso. The Swinging Stars Band of Dominica. Swinging Stars Band of Dominica on the road right now. On the road. Hello, Carnival time. You don't know. That's a Scott that's talking to all you there. French man that's talking to all you. So, how can it? Carnival time, any carnival world. Carnival time, carnival time. Hello. As we head towards the last two hours of Carnival 2023, it's raining a bit. So some of the patrons are looking for cover. Some of the patrons are looking for shelter. But the Swing Sense Band continues to play in the streets of Roseau.
Yes, Curtis Matthew, the mighty, mighty swinging stars just passed us over 60 years in the business. Your opinion? Yes, uh, yes, Wadix. The swinging stars band is probably the last band we will cover for tonight because when I look at my watch, it's, it's already 8 o'clock. 
and uh, the the patrons from the Sweet Sus Band are are enjoying they're enjoying the music. Tasha P, I saw Tasha P on the band. In fact, she's the one singing now. And uh, the, the patrons are really easy moving about their business and uh, really having a good time here with the Swing Stars Band. I try to avoid commenting on the Swing Stars tonight. I'm disappointed. I am disappointed in the Swing Stars. And the reason I say that you cannot be covering or you cannot be playing for Calypso for over 50 years. They give you a few hours to play on the road while we're making noise for Kaiso. You're playing all kind of Bob Mali. You're playing all kind of soca from Trinidad. What message are you sending? I think I was just actually wasting my time asking for Swing Stars on the road. What? If you can, if you don't have Laddie Why, if you don't have stamina, if you are not prepared to play Calypso until you finish, then it doesn't make sense. You are the number one Calypso band. People are asking for Calypso, and you are giving them Destra, and you are giving them Bob Marley and Soka. What are you saying? Well, well, we don't know how long. We've seen them for the first time. I think they, they, they made a, first, a, a previous round. Get this. So we don't know Get yet. Get this. Yes, we don't know. Get this. Swinging uh, Stars could be on the road for the whole day. From Juve till now. Kaiso and more Kaiso. They are the Kaiso band. They pay for Kaiso every year. They are known as the Calypso band. They don't have any new album to say when they have a new album they want to promote. Calypso and more Calypso, road match of, of, of years, years gone by. Unprepared, disappointed, and out of 10, zero. That is my prediction. Well, Sorry to have to finish on this note, but I, can, I must say it how it is. And you cannot be the number one Calypso band. You play for Calypso over 50 years every year. You make a decent living from the Calypso at from because you, you play from eliminations to semis, to quarters to semis to finals. You are given a few hours on the road. You have two Calypsonians in your band. And after one wrong, you already packed the Calypso and you are playing songs from Trinidad and Bob Marley? Well, what, that is a what, joke. As, as we speak, as we speak, here is a song of the, the Daddy Chess being played now. And I expect them to play their song. What about the other Calypsonian songs? They have the chords of all the other Calypsonian songs. Invite them. Invite Mighty D. Invite Dice. All the fast songs. Invite them. That, 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 that to me is extremely selfish and to you know what I mean I, I cannot deal with this level of selfishness bro you are the band that have been backing up Calypso for years everybody that loves Calypso are asking for more Calypso on the road there are a few hi-fis that play strictly Calypso you are the band on the road after one wrong you're going into into Soka and, and Bob Marley I, I, I don't tell me you have been playing for a whole wrong. What is a whole wrong? Triple K and them have been on the road since Juve. To me, that is um, not, not accepted, Curtis. And if you, and all this is part of um, the Calypso going through some challenges and shooting itself in its in, in, in own foot. You are the Calypso band, you are the number one Calypso band, you have a Calypso tent that is celebrating 50 years. You are actually, that is to me, that is suicidal. You have a Calypso tent, the Stardom tent, is celebrating 50 years. Get all Calypsonians, get new Calypsonians, get Calypsonians from the Stardom tent for all the years that have road mad songs. I don't want to hear about Destra today. Last lap. That's a joke, man, Curtis Matthew. Sorry to use my language, but I'm disappointed with swinging stars on the road. Well, what is again your, your comments? You are a man in the, in the business and I always listen to your comments. Uh, we are hoping, as I said, we just heard the, the daddy chess being played by them. Know, but as you said... What else do you expect to hear, yeah, this? So as you said that... Um, Why don't played? invite the other Calypsonians? Invite Mighty D, he has two fast songs. Dice has a string of fast songs. Invite Dice, he has all new there is bob there is um what is the king the trilogy 
Now we're talking about most of the Calypsonians are in the Stardom tent, you know. Most of these Calypsonians have songs that are in the Stardom tent. Eight out of ten Calypsonians, yes, JD. He has hit some two years ago. I mean, that's a joke to have destroyed the road from Swinging Stars. Yeah, well, uh, again, what X, as we said, it's gone past eight o'clock. We will have to, I want to follow them for a while myself. Swinging Stars, I want to follow them for a while. I intended and, to uh, follow them. I'm going yeah. home. <laughs> yeah, well, I am going to try to I follow them I intended to follow the Swinging Stars. I'm going home. Hour. I'm disappointed. Yeah. But apart from that, Kenneth, I think um, generally mm -hmm. uh, what we covered seem to have gone well with the patrons. The patrons and you heard from them. Yes, yes. They... You heard from the patrons that they have accepted the two days of uh, our permission to revel in the streets of the capital. And like we say, it's an historic uh, pre Lenten event, pre Lenten festival. Uh, more a moment from now, hours from now, will be Ash Wednesday where all this fetting will uh, actually stop except in um, two communities, the Kadenago territory and in Koliho where traditionally they have a, a, a festival called Tewe Vaval where they actually bury carnival until next year but in the capital city and other places tonight 10 o'clock will be the final sound of anything uh, to do with carnival so overall and like we heard from uh, Sai, one of the police officers, uh, everything seemed to be okay in terms of the behavior of the patrons and we have to commend ourselves, Dominicans and um, our visitors for the exemplary behavior and we have to really thank them for this. Everyone seemed to have adhered with the orders of the Dominican Commonwealth Police uh, Force in uh, behavior because this was very critical. They had um, a zero tolerance on any nonsense. So uh, apparently most of the patrons seem to have adhered to that and we have to say a thumbs up to the patrons. We heard from the people, we can only bring it to you as we saw it. The people said they enjoyed, at least those we interviewed, said they enjoyed, some gave 10 over 10. Uh, there are some concerns from other people in terms of uh, the temporary actually dominating the traditional I think we should have a discussion on this. I think the Calypso Association should take some introspection and then um, open it up for uh, uh, evaluation. And um, as we continue to, to wind down, Keris, I think we are called to uh, wind down officially. To wind down, yes. yes. So your final words, Keris, um, and overall, let's just um, conclude. Yeah, what I've seen over the last two days, one, two concerns here and there, but I, I thoroughly enjoy the, the carnival activities. Um, it appears again that the people who came would have enjoyed it. You said that, that we interviewed them and they, they gave the approval, the people we interviewed. Every one of them seemed to have said that they enjoyed the activities. I myself, from what I saw, I enjoyed it fully. And uh, we hope again next year with all the some of the concerns can be addressed and next year we can come bigger and better next year and officially we would like to thank all those who viewed and all those who listened to us throughout the two days and throughout all the activities throughout carnival dbs uh, extended uh, its coverage of all the various carnival activities we want to thank all those who listened tuned in and actually glued to social media to really get an idea of uh, what's taking place for uh, the uh, Mass Alawi version of Mass Dominic 2023. We thoroughly enjoyed ourselves in the streets of the capital city as um, we wind down our and change until the close down, the termination, the conclusion of Mass Dominic 2023. So, Curtis, once again, I enjoyed the moments of you. We tried to bring it as clear and um, balanced as possible to our patrons and as accurate as we could do because we are both in audio and video. Let's hope that they receive the signal loud and clear and they thoroughly enjoy the broadcast. Yes, thank you very much, Leroy Warwick Charles. Once again, a pleasure working with you as always. I'm sure if all goes well, we'll be here again next year to bring it to the, the people at home and to bring the songs as clear as possible. We have to say a big thank you to Dean Thomas. Dean Thomas, who is the head of the technical department at DBS. Dean has worked very hard over the last month 
to ensure that things go well for the coverage of carnival activities. The program director, Ivona John Baptist Luge, and all those who work with Aaron, the other technician, Nicholas Dennis, and uh, the youngster who has been recruited by Dean and others, the youngster who was there doing the camera work. We want to thank all of them for making the, the broadcast as clear as possible. And those who listen, I know Nigel Francis, Carl Joffrey, Ellis, and all of them in, in uh, Florida, they have been tuned. We want to say good night to you all, uh, my, my family in, in uh, Florida who have been listening. Thank you for joining us. On behalf of Leroy Warwick Charles, Curtis Matthews saying good night to enjoy the rest of the evening.
This is WCK coming through, as we speak. Okay. 
Signal just there. 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 Signal just Thank you. 
survive. And you know it has not been easy. The way things in this country set. Every other day is another thing on which is. Dad, the cost of living got higher. Since you've been gone. But we still we are growing on. Since you've been gone. Ukraine got invaded by Russia. Since you've been gone. Price of gas exploding like bombs. Selling lies to discredit each other To promote their own agenda They just play in politics Play in politics And it's such a shame that the country get this way We only have a few good men patriots call the way Some can say they're working for the country's benefit But in the long run, they were so bleak Looking for their pockets Oh, 
It was a tornado and erupt in a volcano. It was Mystery Lady on a rampage. Rampage. The way the place vibrating. Everybody dancing. This African beauty on a rampage. On a rampage. Last year, go for stick was a hit. This year. Surely be 
left behind Cause labor is in control And we can't argue with a soul
for some people to feel so stingy. Saving is very important. You have to do it consistently. Otherwise, you won't have to follow your peace. Coming up next is Rich Cross the Bridge. That's the crew that's coming up next. Okay, I just hope they keep it clean. Yes, already. You have to. 
country Tell me how you feeling Yo, 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 yo. How you feeling? How you feeling? Yo, 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 yo How you feeling? How you feeling? Call 
Officer say that's it. No, they would.
they don't sell a flip class me When they so static A punch back in When they don't sell a flip class me I am the hit man They call me the champion Champion They're writing this on the wall Protocol has already been established I am the life of the party I make people happy Someone to be negative 
let them hop so well again and again. Who says that the work? Yes, yes. Tell them the music I live in sin. Man, it was not easy. Between them kings I say. Kings I say. Our vision knew. History was on its way. It was a pump with a blunder They gave my crown to another brother The judges deserve some fire But that is what I under the bridge I want to believe you will see Every guy is so seasoned I take him to step higher Higher and higher People never saw in me It's ready for the run It's now a reality To see the talent in me Praises I give To the Almighty The Ashwa the Yoga He never give up on me He sent me an angel To bring out the challenge So what is written? Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. The sun is season, the sun will shine. Why? The sun is season, the sun will shine. In the arena as a brave price is on you Separating the wolf from the sheep Well, I'm and dangerous just, just. I put in his holy name I am what I am That I am I say I am I say I never can change it spot and as you say, I have a duty to entertain, to lift people from the daily pain. Yes, I will be doing what they expect on Carnival Day, from today to Ash Wednesday. What? Every guy is so It's right before the arrive It's now a reality To see the talent in me Praises I give To the Almighty He has tried the other He never give up on me He sent me a danger To bring out the talent In me Send me an angel. So what is written? Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. The summer season, the summer time. What, what? The summer season, the summer time.
Yeah.